Hello there, everyone. Welcome to an earlier edition of Poland, Lithuania, and Divergences of Darkness Fan Fork Live. This is part two. We played the first session of this new single player campaign on Sunday. Had a lot of fun. I found it to be story wise and events wise, and what's happening to the country. Out of the three campaigns I've done so far, that was the most thrilling, the most crazy stuff going on and uh, the most challenging situation where things are all uh, stacked against us. So welcome everyone. I might be anticipating a lower viewer count today due to the timing of this stream about two hours earlier than I'm used to. However, you can probably guess why I'm streaming earlier today and I will be stopping at about seven o'clock or quarter past seven. And um, I'll tell you because that, that ties in nicely to the football tag. Yeah. All right, here's the uh, normal background music. AI Bohemia moment not working with you to get Pomerania. I know. Why not 1836 again if you lose? I haven't lost, you see, Lulu Mood. I'll explain the situation. This map that I have right now, this diminished Poland-Lithuania, is what happens when we win. This is the winning map. Western Hyperslav run. Yes, Reddy, thank you very much for the 16 months. We'll uh, see what we can do. This is the event chain that we chose has put us down a path where our neighbours are hostile against us. Scandinavia seized land because of the lower of the North German. The North German nobility were outraged by King Stanislav, who is anti-noble and trying to take back the land and curtail the rights of the nobles. So they have taken... The, uh, the nobles in North Germany appealed to Scandinavia for protection so their rights could be maintained. That's the lore. Because we decided to choose King Stanislav. 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 As his uh, fucking... Um, the lo-fi playlist is called. Because that's the path we've chosen. Stanislav. Do we have any lore about the country simply named Lord Novgorod? It has lore, yes. It has lore. I don't know what it is, but it has lore. So, earlier, when you start the campaign as Poland, you start to get some events about who your next king is going to be. So you can go with a sort of normal candidate, a conservative candidate, who will just keep the country going along as normal. Or you can choose King Stanislav, who has radical ideas to curtail the powers of the nobility. And by the way, thank you for subbing, Reddit, on this September, your sub will have been cheaper by about 30 or 40 percent. This is September, everyone. Get your subs in now or never. Is there any minor country around the world that are hidden metas powerhouses? Good question. Probably. Uh, but I do not know which ones. So. That'll be interesting to find out. Crimea, I think. I mean, Crimea is small now. But they start off within a couple of extra regions, but they, they can form a Tatar stand. But anyway, I decided to go with Stanislav to curtail those noble rights and to go for the full conquest of the Hetmans and the Cossacks, hopefully in the long run. It was either that or probably a boring campaign where we just waited and gradually took some land. So this uh, Stanislav also led to the situation of uh, Bohemia turning against us because there was this, uh, the lore was that this military group led by nobles was forming in the uh, western end of our country. Bohemia came in to support them directly through military intervention. And at the end of last session, we had a huge epic death war against Bohemia, which I will say was a really good war for AI, you know, how AI goes. The reason it was a good war is because Bohemia's entire army can be right there and they, they don't have any colonies. See, if we fight a colonial power like Scandinavia, a lot of their armies will just be sitting in colonies doing nothing the whole time. But we got the full brunt of Bohemia and we took them on and we fought for status quo. We didn't even gain anything out of it, technically. I mean, we didn't gain anything new out of it. Survival is what we gained. So if I uh, pop into the country here, 
We lost the northern coast. We lost the Balter, aka German regions there, to Scandinavia, who accepts them. Oh, that's it. That's actually an interesting bit of knowledge. Scandinavia accepts that culture. The north, the North Germans, or the north, uh, the northeastern Germans across the Baltic. You'll find a lot of them probably in Latvia as well. Yeah. That's interesting. There's a little known fact. There's a lot of them in there, the Baltics. So, they accept those people more than we do. No, I don't have that accepted, but hopefully in the long run. Now, hopefully in the long run. So, the, the VOD of Session 1 was a big success as well. Loads of people watching that. Really interested in the campaign. We also got some comment from the, the mod developer about some info as well that I'll need. I actually need to consult his comment right now because there's some key events or decisions that I need to uh, choose in the right order that they'll fix in the future. So bear with me while I look at that. As always, long intros on Spud Gun Official. So, but, but just an overview. We lost the Northern German stuff. Uh, we used to directly control these five provinces here. Lok or Lutsk or Ovne. Kasaminiak, uh, Tarnopol, Kolomi, Kolomia. We used to control them directly, but then later they've become part of the uh, the satellite here. The satellite used to just control about uh, around Kiev, and but then it gained that. We also took a region of Crimea. This is a, a manual conquest, which is unusual in DoD FanFox single player games. Manual justification conquests are hard to come by because basically. The Crimean conquest that I did is actually the case in point of why not to do manually justified conquest because the, the Bohemian Death War started while well, I had three stacks over here doing this. So it's actually the argument against ever doing that. That's the reason. That's the reason I didn't do it at all really in the Aragon campaign. Or I did actually. Mind you, I did take down the Ottomans in that campaign. So let me go and look up that comment because it's really important. It's only 1846, we've gone 10 years and so much has happened. So let's look at it. Let's look at this. Is that giant exposition text supposed to be on the screen? Ah, oh, yeah, we're still in the intro. We're still in the intro. Yeah. Right, let's go get this uh, comment. So, other than the comments starting to incite an argument about Litvins and Belarusians and Lithuanians, we have... Um, the maker of the mod, Danuk, is saying... Important notice, make sure you don't click the new Act of Union decision until you press the Union of Warsaw decision, and get the event triggered by that. Right, I'll turn this off now. So, do not click... Do not... Do not click for seven days. Do not click... Which one is it? Okay, do not click the new Act of Union until I click the Proclaim the Union of Warsaw Union. That could be what the, bl the blue text there says, but who can read that? Can anyone in this chat right now actually read what is in that blue text on the event text? But actually, to be, to be fair, I can read it. The urban bourgeoisie, especially the Jews, want a liberal constitution. But after that, the monarchists want a conservative one. The military wants an even more conservative one. Whichever groups we purge or support will influence the document. Okay, I actually read it. I'm watching on mobile, so no. Hey guys, new viewer here. I love this guy's videos. Is he going to do a Victoria 3 series? I did a Victoria 3 series. I've got a, a playlist of my Victoria 3 videos. Check them out. Starting with a gameplay viewing of the dev streams edit that I did, I guess. So, do not take the Act of Union until the Union of Warsaw and the follow-up event from that, okay? Big news. Remember that. Well, I mean, look, what are the requirements of this anyway? We're far away from it. We're very far away from it. Don't even know if we'll get that in this session. Can we get rid of... Uh, Can we get rid of serfdom before that? Uh, um, seek path to the sea. Well, we can adopt a provisional constitution before it, I think. That would be really good. 
uh, I don't think we have a direct serfdom decision. So, welcome in everyone. Welcome. Just uh, just take it slow, very slowly until we get more viewers in. Uh, so, Scotland are playing England in football today. I was uh, debating myself. I was debating out for a walk earlier today. I was just walking, thinking, oh, should I watch it? Should I cancel the stream today to watch it? Or should I do the stream earlier so I have time to watch it? Um, I've decided that the best thing to do is to stream a little bit earlier so I can end the stream and catch it. You should have it on the side. Nah, fuck that. Um, it's a uh, I can't I can't watch it on stream. That's a uh, real copyright violation. To keep us updated. Nah. Most of you aren't interested in it, and I'm not even that interested in it. But I just can't help but feel like fucking just watch it. But I'm really I don't actually care that much. The better football is now in season. Dallas Cowboys whoop the Giants 14-0 on 9-11. Are disrespectful. Are the Giants from New York? Uh, um, anyway. So the country, overall, more in the intro here, the country's in a terrible state. Clergymen, I mean, the research points are so bad, literacy is bad. Industry is fucking industry, mate. Oh my god. Industry is just a joke. Are we building any projects, capitalists? Nope. Capitalists are trying to reopen a luxury clothes factory. Could I, I couldn't think of a worse thing to do. Right, so the army's army's good though. One thing we have going for us is the army's really good, led by King Chadislav. Chadislav. Two hundred relations with them. Two hundred relations with them. Those are the only two puppets I have left. Lithuania stayed loyal, and Ruthenia is back. Is the industry pop demand based? Yes. Um, it's pop demand based, but it doesn't entirely incorporate PDM. It actually just takes the basis of it. It takes the strategic resource element of it, such as lead here, but it doesn't. It doesn't have loads of unnecessary single, like single, supply chain things, like one good one factory. Loads of guff that PDM adds. It doesn't add that, except for one horses. No, it has the horses. Yes, Macromech, it has the horses. That's the one thing they kept outside the uh, industrial uh, strategic resources. Uh, also, the economy is good because I have money. I'm going to fortify the country. The economy is good in that sense. We've got a good army, good economy in terms of money, but we've got terrible literacy, terrible industry, and, well, terrible diplomacy, I suppose. Terrible diplomatic position. We got an alliance with the Ottomans. They joined us in the Bohemian War, but they didn't send a single stack. Nothing. Nada. I don't know how you say nothing in Polish. So uh, let's unpause and continue. So direct situation is that we've just come out of the war against Bohemia, victorious. But all we got was status quo, and we got the Lordship of Ruthenia back. As a puppet, although they still have half of my fucking land. And I don't think I have the cores on it. Nope. Situation is rough, but I think this is where we turn it around. Can't believe you've never built a horse before, Spud. Uh. So subscribe, get your primes in. Hello, Spud. Hello, chat. What did I miss, Doomlord? You just missed the intro where I gave a rundown. The future of the Commonwealth. See, this is a. Uh, this is just uh, starting off right here. The curtailing of the Chest Chestachova Confederation has destroyed the Schlachta's power within Poland proper. However, Lithuania and Ruthenia remain contested. Serfdom is at the heart of the matter. The Lithuanian nobility is fiercely devoted to their estates, and emancipating the serfs would turn them against us. The Ruthenian nobility, meanwhile, is under threat. In the aftermath of the Confederation's fall, Uman Confederation Voivode Viktor Pol uh, Potocki, so that is referring to... The Confederation's fall, all the Voivods and everything, what happened was that the Cossacks and everyone have consolidated into a nation of Ukraine after my power was lost in this region. Oh yes, uh, my Chestakova pronunciation would have been even better if the game actually showed the correct E diacritic, eh? Nah, see? It doesn't have it. It would be more like 
Ch <laughs> I don't know, you just say it out your nose. Ch Chostakova. Uh, wait, let me get a facts on this. Um, can I open it? In Maybe I can get it in Google Translate. Uh, wait, wait. Hang on a sec. Bear with me. Bear with me, bear with me. Right, okay, okay. Um, Google Translate. So, um, give me a word in Polish that has that E in it. And I'll get them to say it on Google Translate. There's a there's a word for bread. It's web. I don't know if that has the e. Give me a word that has the e. Let, no, uh, give me a word, but translate it to English so I can put it in. I'm not just. Um, give me a word. Give me the translation in English. We're gonna do live Polish linguistics. Fear. <laughs> Strach about this uh, lech, lech here. I'll click on the. Okay, let's listen. Listen very carefully. Lenk. Lenk. So it's just. Yeah, it's, it makes it a nasal vowel. So it's sort of like it's got an E. No, not an E. It's like it's got an N. A silent N in it. Lenk. Lenk. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Ah, ah! That's really interesting. That's what exactly what it sounds like. Ah, 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 ah! It doesn't do it right with when it's on its own. Plumber, Gilio, that's racist. What is the word for plumber? Hydro. <laughs> Okay, they just stole a Greek or Latin word. Greek, I think it's Greek. That's Greek. They just stole the Greek word. Hydraulic. I'm not going to say that word because if I say it, five people are going to come knocking on the door thinking I need their help. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Plumber is that. Okay, anyway. So that would be Chang Chang stuck Chan stuck over Chan stuck over. I don't know. But anyway, what's the situation? We're about to have a choice between the Ruthenians and the Lithuanians, I think. I think that's where we're heading. So, the Ruthenians... Um, the, the Ruthenian ability is under threat. The Voivoda Viktor Pototsky was removed from power by a conspiracy of Haidamax, armed bands of commoners and landless nobles, which is now spreading into the Ruthenian lands of Poland and Lithuania. Are those groups essentially what this this Ukraine? Uh, these are the lawless groups that have but they formed the country. Uh, these groups demand the end of serfdom, cultural protections for Ruthenians, and most disturbing of all, redistribution for Ruthenian Jewish wealth. Oh, that's disturbing and uh, anti-Semitic. An ocean separates me from any Polish person. I'm not scared. Mate, you realize people. Uh, you realize a lot of them move. You're in America. A lot of them have moved to America. So, the question of serfdom, I, I want, I need to get rid of serfdom, so, um, I, I'm getting rid of serfdom, simple as. Oh, hello Traster Bean, hello, how you doing? That's a epic Victoria 2 streamer right there, everyone. I read it him. But, um, I want to get rid of serfdom, which means that I'm going to piss off the Lithuanians. I think we're going down that road. Obviously, I want to keep Lithuania in the long run, so I will. I might have to militarily defeat them. The good thing is, I think if I think ab abolishing serfdom might appease the Ruthenians for me, though it might get me in their good books. My army is funded right now. Question of serfdom. Okay. Oh God. Right. Perhaps no other institution is so hated by the ordinary people of the Commonwealth as a serfdom. The hatred of the Polish and Lithuanian nobility for their own subjects is infamous, to the point that some magnates 
believe themselves to be descended from the ancient Samaritans, as they cannot imagine being related to those who they rule over. Wow. Needless to say, the Ruthenians have for many years sought to end serfdom. The Hedemax launching raids against nobles across the Ruthenian lands. King Stanislav now has the power to abolish serfdom by royal decree. Where have I heard that one before? Um, glad to hear it, Traster. Um, it's time, out of sinker, it's time. Just make everyone nobility? Yeah. We need to sell it as if we're making everyone nobility rather than making everyone poor. Every man a king sort of idea. Yeah, that one, boy, exactly. Uh, king Stanislav. But, you know, does anyone remember what this reminds you of about a king, an upstart king abolishing a, an institution by decree? Does anyone... Any, uh, any recent playthroughs or anything... King Stanislav is the cowboy king of Poland, I would say. And uh, uh, unfortunately, that might mean that we're going to have another giant three-way civil war. Uh, but, you know, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, without exceptions, without, without cons uh, compensation to the nobles. This would, of course, outrage the remaining magnates of the East, especially in Lithuania. But Stanislav's advisors assure them that the abolition of serfdom is a necessity for our nation's future. Well, there you go. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do that. Announce to the people that the person subject to any lord is liberated. Lith Lithuania's loyalty is more important than the Lithu Lithuanians. Nah. My national value is about to change to liberty. It's currently order. And order is shit, looking at it. Um, research points minus 10%. Straight away is going to be gone. So the political form selected will be debtors' prisons. Which means not serfdom. And serfdom gives minus 15% education efficiency. Also, abolishing serfdom by doing this is a prerequisite for doing adopt a provisional government. So, is it? No, it's, is it? Which one is it? It was a provisional thing to one of them. Is it the Union of Warsaw? Yeah. Okay, so one of the Union of Warsaw's ones is there. Order equals stagnation. King, King, King Chadislav, that's right. So we've done it. We've abolished serfdom. That means all the pops are now farmers. There you go. Excellent. Oh, something happened to Bohemia. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. There's multiple events, but let's... Since Bohemia is so close, we're going to re read what they're doing. How many cultures can you get accepted as PLC in this mod? I don't know. That's the good thing about this mod, actually. About the... The event chains and the stories, you don't... Unless you, like, look it up beforehand by looking up their Discord and the flowcharts. If you go in blind, you're just taken through a story. You don't know. Um, it's not about the typical Victoria 2 thing of trying to min-max your pots. Because you just don't know what you're going to get or what you're not going to get. And I really love that. And I love any mod that does that. It's not just this mod. It's not. This isn't the only one that does those sorts of stories. But I love how it does it. Do not spoil. Spoilers will be banned. If I decide that they're bad spoilers, but little bits of information are terrible. The Aushörlung, um, 1846. This year marks one of the most troublesome times the Empire has faced since its foundation. The so-called Potato Blight. Oh, okay. They got the Potato Blight of death. History shall look upon us with distress and contempt. Liberal and reformist members in the Reichstag, point of no return. That's what Bohemia gets. That's what Bohemia gets for going against me, rip bozo. I'll smoke that Bohemian pack. But we've got more important things to attend to. Uh, so we've got reintegrate Lithuania. Um, and a thing against Rus. We both, we just unlock both of them. The, Lith the Lithuanian magnates reacted poorly to our reforms, failing to understand that such measures were necessary for the salvation of the Commonwealth. For a time it seemed as though they would secede entirely and cause the Union's collapse. Fortunately, cooler heads have prevailed, but they will not return to the fold through persuasion alone. Let us embark on a campaign of pressuring Lithuanian magnates to sell off their estates to us in order to deprive them of their influence. Most of their lands are already insolvent anyway. This will not be cheap. Is this, does this cost money? Oh, I, it's, uh, 
Um, it doesn't say it will cost money right now, but it, one of the prere prerequisites is that I need 15 or 1.5 million, I think, but I don't have that. Thank you, Doomlord, for gifting two subs. Thank you very, very much. D00ML0RD, the one gifted a tier 1 sub to Colatricity. So we also have this thing going on against the Rus. Um, our infiltrators within Ruthenian nationalists have informed us that a massive convention of Ruthenians... D00ML0RD, the one gifted okay. a tier 1 sub to Trainboy. We cannot allow... Ruth I think I read this last time. We cannot allow Ruthenian nationalism to boil over. Uh, yeah. So we should. We should do this. But it seems to be linked to the Lithuanian decision. One of the following must be true. Okay, so this basically only happens after the Lithuanian event begins. Alright. Well, I'm going to do it. We're going to do that. And we're going to start reintegrating Lithuania. We're working on the Ruthenians and... Oh! Oh, that just annexes it. There you go. Nice. That's some direct map we own now, and that's good. It's good to have it under our control. Let me just unpause for a day so it registers that with the pops. Um, did it? I think it might have already done, but we got this. Excellent. Did we get Lithuania accepted? No. Oh my god, we're going to have to work on getting them accepted now, aren't we? Is it a decision? No, not yet. Not yet. Wow. Okay, we can make some troops then. We're going to have to make the shittier troops. Wait, no. Tell you what though, there's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of Ashkenazi and Polish people in this, so that's good. Good enough. We will accept them later. By the way, we added Clueless as a better Twitch TV emote. There you go. You're back to your pre-death war brigades. Yeah? Let's build several things. Build lots of that. And now... Let's do three of them, and some artillery. Excellent stuff. I bet they didn't have any industry. No, they didn't. We're going to press ahead with just the... Uh, what do you call it? Oh. This is directly to the Ruthenians. Polish kings have tried to Catholicize the Ruthenians since before the personal union with Lithuania was ever formed, leading to the growth of the Uniates. This has enraged the Hydamax, who loathe the encroachment of the Catholic Church, especially the Jesuits, who they see as conspiratorial villains. While religious freedom, in theory, is already guaranteed within the Commonwealth, creating firmer protections for Eastern Orthodox churches and halting Catholic mission and activity in the East, would calm Ruthenian fears of Polonization. This would enrage Polish reactionaries who would accuse Stanislav of wavering in his commitment to the faith of Catholic, Catholic faith. Thank you, Gleevum. Thank you very, very much for the tier one sub for six months in advance. Guys, how do we tell him? This is my last ever stream. But yeah, this this uh, financial genius is taking advantage of September by getting in cheap uh, subs now. It's really smart to get your subs in advance now. So you can get the cheaper rate before you just buy them for the next six months separately. You know, it's a good idea. Gleevum here is this. This is why Gleevum here is on a big grind set and why he's rich. It's why he's fill, getting in those stacks because he knows financial sense. So ignoring the demands of the Hydenax could drive them into open rebellion. Well, I'm all. It makes complete sense for me to stop trying to press Catholicism on them in order to appease the Ruthenians to make sure that I get them accepted without a civil war. I don't know what the consequences of these reactionaries going against me for not pushing Catholicism there will do. It doesn't really warn me. The only warning here is about me ignoring the Hydamax, putting them into open rebellion. I don't want to have to fight that if I don't need to. I'm gonna my own personal view is that I'm gonna take I'm gonna not push that on the Orthodox uh, Ruthenians. I'm not gonna do it. Or the Malo Russians. I lose prestige for this. I lose 100 relations with whoever owns Rome. Like that like that matters. It matters in EU4, but get with the times. This is Victoria too. It doesn't matter a single fucking tad. Um, it would matter in EU4. <laughs> but uh, 
we're fine. We're fine in this game. So I've made a, made my choice. You'll lose your papal influence. Yep. So be it. I'm getting excommunicated. I don't think they'd go that far, would they? Um, please don't tell me. I think disillusion of the Uman Confederation. Oh. Um, I haven't noticed any changes on the map. Is it going to be this? Oh, shit. Oh. After months upon months of negotiations with the most influential Hydamac leaders, we have convinced the Ruthenians to reintegrate into the Commonwealth. Our reforms have allayed their fears of Polish supremacy, and the nationalist hardliners amongst them have been pushed to the margins. Ruthenian nationalism is a concept which will, which will never truly fade. Uh, we'll find out about that in 1991. But the Ruthenian faith in the Commonwealth has been rekindled. Oh yes, oh my god, so far we've basically just integrated our two vassals without gaining accepted pops, but that's good, it's fine. The problem is because they're not accepted, they're all fucking emigrating. I'm losing pops, I'm losing a lot of pops, they're emigrating. So what does Seek a Path to the Sea do? We cannot survive without a major port, um, yeah, do it, Path to the Sea. Is that anything new there? No, nope. it will surely give us a new event. Any industry? Looks like there were some luxury luxury clothes in this new legion. Brilliant. Just what I need. Now we get more brigades. Oh, the naval issue. I think we're, we're pressuring Scandinavia. We're going back after Scandinavia. Am I getting a choice between the north and the south? We will never be truly sovereign without a major port of our own. Such a harbour is necessary. Island pop check. Oh, good point. After this event, for the economical reasons, Gdansk served this purpose for centuries, but its recent capture by Scandinavia has strangled our economy. Fuck them. There is an obvious attraction in liberating Gdansk, but it would mean fighting a great power, and our military may not be ready for such a confrontation. I think you'll find it is. There is an alternative... Kaji Bay, located on the Black Sea coast, possesses an excellent natural harbour and was once known as Kotzebuyev when it was first settled by Ruthenians in ages past. What is it called? Where is it? I don't know which region they're, which province they're actually referring to. None of them are named that, but it's probably just... Oh, it's, I already have it! I already fucking have it, but I can get a core on it. Look, it's not... I think it's obvious what we do here. Good luck, I've tried a Poland game twice and got blown up twice, but then again, I'm not a god tier victory player like you. Well, when it comes to single player, I'm not claiming to be that good. My knowledge and experience is in multiplayer. 39k pops, it has long since over uh, surpassed my sub count on YouTube. Nearly 40k pops on that island. Danzig or war, oh, where have I heard that before? And that's coming from a Polish guy in chat. Um, I, we're obviously, we're gonna go further the north. We're going to fucking take that back. So one gives you new land but makes peeps angry and the other gives you a core land you already have. Yeah. I don't, I don't see the benefit of just getting a new core on this that we already have. The Zapor Zaporozhian host, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get cores on everything the Zaporozhian host has cores on. So they have it in that region. They also have cores in Ukraine. They have cores in Yedisan region, both on this one, owned by Ukraine. That's it. No no more than that. Just two regions, two and a half regions. Whereas uh, Pomerelin, I'll gain cores. That's just one region. That's just aka Vespoisen. Will you core your island? Only if I make it a state. Now, this land I have here in Crimea is a colony, so I won't lose my baby boom chance by getting making this island a state. I don't think I have the... I, I could, we could work on making the island a state. You'll gain cores in the south by the event. Uh, um, Kingdom of Poland already has cores on that northern bit. Uh, Duchy of Prussia, alliance with Scandinavia. There's no such thing as the Duchy of Prussia, it's gone. Hello, Isopropy. Yeah, I would go north here. 
I, I hope there's opportunities to take more southern cores later. So I do that. And I gain... Okay, I gain cores on more than just that. I gain it on Preussen and Zmoods. So I gain cores on everything that I lost wrongly to Scandinavia. Is this a manual war rather than an event war? They're allied to Burgundy. So, any new decisions? It's nice cores. It's pretty nice cores. Yeah. Well... I can't build any army right now on account of having fuck all industry. Sadly. But even if the army I do have... Uh, Scandinavia has a beefy brigade, brigade count, but they're all going to be locked away in their overseas territory a little bit, you know? It's going to be a difficult war. They'll be coming in from north and south. Uh, I'm not ready for it. Because I can't build an army. Because I can't build an industry. Do I have any better parties now? No, we still have agrarianism. We need more parties to unlock. We need the paternalist party. Oh, I'm losing so many pops to Vinland. The crown colony of Vinland. Does that mean Scandinavia still fucking owns it? Oh. That's a double blow against me. My accepted pops are moving over there. The second great... Oh. 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 Okay. Bohemia just went to war with Scandinavia. I see. Right. Why is my org not going up, by the way? I've been funding my army. Fuck. I don't know. I guess it's uh, it's time then, isn't it? It's, it's time. The deck for Preussen. Six war score. No one will join me. Let's do it. It's an obvious decision. Let's go for it. An invasion of Scandinavia. Mobilize. Let's go, boys. Fuck it. No bullshit. Going in. I've got to take the opportunity. Fucking Hungary! Of course, they were allied to Scandi, weren't they? Sphered. That's really annoying. I'm going to take Slovakia out of this fucking war as well. You know that? Taking Slovakia, you bastard. We're getting that. Goslin. Uh, go right in on them. Go right in on them. Let's fucking go. It'll be a difficult war. I'm fucking ready for it. Attack them. Get these Hungarians out of my country. You're going to be watching the game tonight, Spud? Yes, that's why I'm streaming early. So we can discuss some build-up to the game. You know, it's get the football tag. Now they're attacking me. No commander. Oops. Oops. Now we have one. The Hungarians are more of a pressing threat in this war. Scandinavia won't send troops yet, if they do at all, because they're dealing with Bohemia. You've got £20 on Scotland. Oh, good luck with that. Okay, we need to retreat that battle. The Hungarian menace has reinforced it. Uh, difficult times to attack. Retreat across the river to Krakow. Gilio, your comments are not funny. Nice prediction, Brady. Okay, okay. I wonder how I can watch it. Oh, there's... There's going to easily be ways of watching it, I'm sure, in foreign countries. Are they following up on me? They're following up on me. Retreat to Krakow. I think we might win the follow-up. I got there first. We're losing... We're not losing as many pops as I was initially. 
if Norwich or today with Georgia Scotland qualify for the Euros. Yeah, we've won every game in that so far. It's going amazingly. So is the Vinlandic Revolution. It's all going wrong for Scandi all at once. The absolute state. The absolute state of Scandi. They're also getting a revolution from Vinland. Um, Plantagenia won the Arcadian War. Lusitania is independent. Fascinating. I'll have my eye on that game also, yeah. Did we just stack wipe them? Oh, we stack wipe them. I don't know if this battle's good. We're just not, we just temporary bad roll. We'll come back. Moscow Alliance. It, join the war. Join the war. They will not accept. What's the point of allying me then? I'm building troops as well. Good news. Kick the Hungarians out and take Slovakia. I lost that battle? Oh, no, there's no way that gets stack wiped. There's no way. I'm not letting that... That's actually bullshit. That's not meant to get stack wiped. There were like 30k in that. Fuck that. I'm reverting that. There's no way. Did it happen on the first of the month or not? Let's check July. No one in their right mind would just sit and let that happen. It should have retreated automatically. Alright, it already happened in July. Let's go back to June. The AI cheated against me. There is no way anyone sitting there in your armchair... You don't know what it's like being in, in the hot seat. You don't, you don't know what it's like being the one... On the front line. Look at this battle right now. There is no scenario in which I get stack wiped in that battle. Okay? That it doesn't happen. It's not meant to happen. I went back a little bit. Wait, I think it was the follow-up battle I got stack wiped in actually. So yeah, see I was technically right anyway. And guess what? We've got the annoying song in the playlist. I, we st I, did I stack like them or not last time? I don't know. Now I will not follow up on that, I do believe. I'll let my boys reinforce. I have never reset save, come, save scummed in any of my EU4 games. I doubt that. This guy's capping. He's capping. So, and then we win the follow-up. No, I get a worse roll this time. Right, let's sneege, sneege down the cores. Is your mic cutting out or is it just me? Probably just you. Probably just you. I'm fine. You can all hear me. You can all hear me. It's good. Audio sounds fine to me. It's him. It's just a solo issue from that guy. Wait, what the fuck happened? How did the Hungarians move there? And then they're attacking me there? What a disaster. Now, if that one gets stack wiped, it's a little bit more understandable, but I still want to prevent it. Wait, one Krakow. I'm going to follow up to Novi Targ. They attack me there with a better general and a better role. Getting owned by the AI, lol. But you suck. I remember playing with you. Well, you you were never that particularly well skilled, mate. I think I would beat you in any war. Ah, that didn't get stack wiped. It got retreated. An MP shoot. I'm just fucking with you as well. If, you, if people fuck with me, I have to fuck back a little bit. I don't just sit there and get fucked. Right, we, uh, bad attack there. They've got a, a three defense. I didn't get wiped there. They're following up on me. Why am I even attacking there anyway? Shouldn't be.
By the way, Hungary is overpowered. 35, fucking 73. But half my army is up here dealing with Scandinavia. You know, it's fine. I just stack wiped Hungary in that battle and I'm going to... I think I'm going to follow up around here. Rokosovsky, General Rokosovsky. That name is familiar. It's a Soviet general. I'm going to be retreating out of that battle manually. Get, get back across the river. And then the Vinlandic Revolution happens again. Excellent. He was also Polish. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, that's an unfair stack wipe. Come on. This can't be happening. This is an okay attack. It's going pretty well. This new arc that's coming, I want to get good though. Well, if there's going to be any new campaigns, then go for it. Right, 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 right. Okay, we're winning that battle. I guess I can rebuild what I lost there. He was named a Polish Field Marshal after the war. How Polish are we talking though? How Polish was he? Just ancestry or fully Polish? Is Spud losing? You don't have to refer to me in the third person, I'm right here. I'm winning, I'm winning. War's not going well enough to add a war goal, technically. Minus 1% losing. Legit rule break in my opinion. Oh, I'm losing that but Where did my org go? What? Where did, they, where did the actual org go? If that gets stack wiped, that's another revert, by the way. Because the org magically disappeared. Can I try just... The terrain is minus three anyway. What kind of... Wait, that's a fucking... You know why I'm losing that battle? Because that's a mountain. Apparently that is a fucking mountain. Okay. The mod is a, a bit weird, weird on that. Sieges can wait, Mr. Spud. I'm not playing multiplayer, Gibu. I'm not tryharding. I'm not tryhard multiplayering. Oh my god. I'll get your whole army to concentrate. Nah, fuck it. I'm playing single player. I can siege down people with half my army. And still win. But that is a mountain. Can you see it? Can you see the mountain terrain? It's super chill, Gibu. It's super chill. And now we've done another attack there, which, that was my mistake. The org disappears within, like, a day. You didn't do Diplo with Hungary. I did. I made a speech where they should be included in the HRE, and then they didn't join the HRE. Where are the Hungarians moving? Okay, they're just sieging down that so-called mountain. I'm trying. To, I'm just building units over there, and they're getting wiped because it's going to be sitting on it. Just start building it again. Who cares? We're about to get our full ticker. Right. They've just followed up on me there. They've, they've attacked me. I didn't really know they were. I don't have a defense general in that. Something's going wrong with my org. Do I have a really bad military related modifier or something? No. Yeah, my org is so bad. It barely it barely increases. That's really bad. Like even in this battle, I just reinforced it with a brand new fully orged stack. And the org is just going down and down and down. Take another full stack down. Oh my god. Scandinavia's here. Uh, 
Uh, where should we defend? Where should we hold the line? Just retreat. Is the fork, fan fork standalone? Yeah. If I lose this battle, look at the roll, mate. Fucking hell. I'm fighting with some invisible modifier against my org. I don't know what's going on with it, to be honest. I've never really seen anything like this. Like, I'm, my army is debilitated. 20th of September. 16th. I'm getting away. Do they have better org tech? I've never seen org tech make a difference like this sort of thing, but maybe. Right, the, uh, the Scandinavians are following me. They're, they're heading all the way over to Konigsberg. They will take some attrition. Konigsberg, um, let's, this one, uh, let's just pull back. Oh, that's not pulling back. But it sort of is. I'll do it. I'll do it anyway. Will we ever win this battle here? We're doing positive casualties to them now. They're walking all the way towards me. Königsberg, 1st of October, this one 28th of September. Where will they go now? Where are they? Where are the Scandinavian? Where's the Scandinavian stat going? Where is it going? Look at this fucking Hungarian battle! This is ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Can I get a round of applause, please? Where's my org? Oh, fucking hell! And how did that Scandinavian stack just multiply? I, I can't keep the battle going. I'm about to get auto-retreated anyway. Ridiculous. Crazy stuff. Where are they going? They're just going to sit and occupy, I think. Just like me. This is a forested farmland, defence 1. Not really a great place to attack. Not, not a great place. Uh, we will sit back and let them move into us. This 10k here though, I mean I should be able to wipe the floor with that. Hmm. All right, what's the war score? Minus nine, minus five in battles. Did you turn off equipped rebels? I'm not fighting rebels, am I? Got an artillery here. Just go to the rally point. Uh, you go there. Got to avoid attrition. That's uh, very important in this game. Stop trying to move directly into enemies, please, men. Right, we'll see where the Hungarians move after they've occupied whatever the provinces they're standing on, and then uh, move accordingly against them.
upgrowth. We desperately need some of that. Oh. Interesting. Oh, what's this? Is that some fucking mobilized troops going AWOL again? For fuck's sake. Nothing ceases to... Uh, everything ceases to amaze me. Nothing ceases to amaze me? Yeah. Nothing ceases to just fuck up and go wrong in this game. North Arcadian Brothers War. Something like that is happening over there. I go into Novi Targ, which is a forested farmland. That might be good enough. If I move there, will I get there before that retreating stack? 23rd of November, 18th of November. I'll get there first. Now I will move in and prepare to launch an attack against the 18k. And then finally, maybe, we're kicking Hungary out of this damn country. Finally. Don't forget mountains. I specifically looked at the terrain of Novi Targ, and I specifically looked at the fact that I'm getting to the mountain first before him. I'm way ahead of you. Oh, they're attacking it too. Let them do that. Let them do that. They're attacking with a normal stack and retreating into it. I mean, they're sending these guys in. They've got low org, but send them anyway. I want to launch an attack down here, however, I have no org. It's going good, Himanuto, it's going good. Now we're defending here against overwhelming terrain advantage, yet the org is bad. I, I'm going to say org a lot. Right, bring the fight to Hungary. Move in and start occupying them. Someone else joined the war, the Ingrian Republic. They, I think they might have already been in, I'm not sure. At least I'll get some stuff out of this war. I'll separate piece Hungary out for Slovakia, mark my words. Although taking the whole region might be risky, I could just release it as Nitra as a puppet. Um, if there was a way to split it, what I could do is... Uh, if I could just rule this region directly because it has my accepted pots. The Principality of Ruthenia has cores on that, and only that. So I could release the Principality of Ruthenia and then annex that. It's a bit of a long, convoluted workaround just to get this bit of land. Even Hungary doesn't have cores on that. I can release Ruthenia and also release Nitra, but this is a lot of infamy. Pressure Missile is only a forest. I will attack that with all three of these stacks. And this will wipe most of the Hungarian army. All the micro must be troublesome, you look like you could use some front lines. You know, if they offered a, a front line mechanic, which was optional, I might consider putting it on. But they didn't do that. Alright, now we are officially crushing Hungary. They are dead. See, it wasn't that hard. We had a little, we had some issues. But we got there, didn't we? One Scandinavian stack has undone all my occupations there, but we'll go back and deal with them as well. I think I might separate piece out Hungary before moving on to them. This war is about retaking Prussia, that's right. We've got a lot of army, a lot of stacks built up here. Can't wait to have more. The Polish-Hungarian friendship is over. There never was one. It was all fake. Any new parties? Any new parties? No. 
And I've got no voting, so I must have high militancy. So there's Crimean Patriots, there's rebels to worry about. What battle did I just lose? Was it creating a unit? Yeah, it was building. Yeah, it was creating a unit. I swear. Oh, I'm a great power. I am a great power. Repeat, I am a great power. Well, in that case, um, I'm going to sphere some people. I'm going to sphere some people near me. I'm going to sphere Vallejo. Yeah, we can tell you what we can do here, lads. Here's what we can do. Here's what we can do. As well as maybe taking this. We can form a Romania. How about that, everyone? How about we form Romania? Make it a big fat puppet. We have some accepted pops in Chernoti over here, but there's really not that many of them. This is a 43k province, which means there's only about 21k of my acceptance there anyway. Not much. Island check. It's occupied by Scandinavia, but it's got 40k pops. So that's good. Seize the means of production means I fucking nationalise against Bohemia. And I, I just nationalised the Adidas factories that they built, and they're closed anyway. Maybe that means I'm taking the losses for them. I don't know. Might be a mistake. But it's um, propaganda victory, you know. Right, just get rid of the Hungarians out of my land now. So we're, soon we're going to move towards Scandi again. We really need to start hitting them. Annex all of Hungary. No, uh, taking too much land without my accepted pops will just be a disaster. A really big fat disaster. I am very tempted to take the whole region of Slovakia though. I'm not going to lie. It's got some of my accepted pops, and it's less, it's easier to just grab the whole thing and take it than just to do this little releasing a country thing to get some of it. And we just instant stack wiped Hungary. Right, we're ready to start moving towards Scandi again. Easier to defend too? Well, yeah, but that doesn't matter so much in single player. Annex Scandinavia, I'd love to. If Scandi moves to unoccupy Thorn, I might go in and try and attack them there. That's what they're doing, but unfortunately I've got no org. If I just had some organisation in the army, maybe I could... My best general is the one in Ungvar right now, which means... Uh, wait, wait, wait... Uh, I'm going to go and grab that general to cycle him. He's my best general. He's got good stats. Plus 15 speed. He's 2 attack. I'm going to use him in the attack against Scandi. Hopefully Scandi doesn't have a Giga Chad defense general of any kind. Okay. Wapowski. Okay, ready? Ready boys? Launch it now. Just just fucking send everything in. I'll reinforce with them if I need to. Where's my orc? They've got a 3 defense. I'm taking 3 to 1 casualties. I've got no orc. They got they only got two more mil tech. This is ludicrous. I don't like this. There's something really fucked fucked going on with my army. I swear. The role difference is also very big. Very big. But I if I send enough shit, I can brute force my way through this battle. Thanks for allying me, Aragon. Will you join my war? Yes, okay, join it. Good. Holy fuck. Jesus Christ. Wow. Shit. Shit like this shouldn't happen. It's not right. Oh, Hungary.
by moving away, so I can just go in and occupy. Right, move there, move there, move there, move there. The war is going well. It's not going well enough, but it's going well. Tough wars. You can't just expect to have a cakewalk every time, guys. You've got to go through some struggles. We're having some rough times. Could I have called Moldova into this war? Yes, I could have called Moldavia into the war the whole time. And maybe Wallachia as well. Both of the Romanians, they could never say no to beating up Hungary. They could never say no to that. The org is due to not enough horses being built in the factories. I don't have a single horse factory. Because uh, industry is pretty much banned from the game at this point for me. Lakia, nice. What about Sphering Illyria too? Guess what? We're building up. Another big Balkan friendship group, Sphere. Does that remind you of anything? Nah, because half of you probably didn't even watch the first campaign. Hungary deserves this. We're going to try on on them. Um, so, first of all, I can't add anything because the war's not going well enough. We need to improve the battle war score and occupy more of Scandi. Then the war will be going well enough, by my estimation. And whatever, whatever Illyria just called me into is already... cannot join it. Because Burgundy joined it against them, and I'm already at war with Burgundy. Burgundy's not doing anything though in this, thankfully. Actually, they're occupying Bohemia, which hopefully means they can't get to me after that. I don't know. We'll see. Hungary attacked me here, meaning I have to reinforce. Unfortunately, the Burgundians are in Hungary. Great. Great stuff. Love it. The Scandinavian army might attack me and then I'll, uh, maybe we'll win that battle. Plurality, yes, plurality. Okay, they're attacking uh, Dirschau. Okay. Can we get at least a two defense in here? Yes, I have one. I have one. I could start reinforcing with one stack. I don't think that'll put them off, will it? Will that put them off? No, they want to go ahead anyway. On the 8th of June, I can send everything else in. Right, this is where we defeat Scandinavia. Finally. Oh, Bohemia's moving in behind them anyway. They're in circle or something. Good stuff. Yes, Bohemia is still going. And the roll's bad. But it's, it's an alright roll. It's an alright one. Now is the time where we can build up the battle war score. Turn that around. 
if I even win this battle. Look at the org. Look at the org. Look at the casualties, look at the rolls, and look at the org. If I lose this battle, there's serious things wrong with this game. Look at the roll. You know, I'm I'm not taking it. I'm reverting these rolls. That's seriously fucked. I'm reverting these rolls. I, I just can't handle it. I can't handle it. It's genuinely not right. I outnumber them like 4 to 1. Just because of rolls and some weird fucking org glitch I have. You're not getting away with it. That's my limit of two reverts this war, okay? That's my limit of two reverts over. I won't, I won't do it again. That's the last one, I swear, okay? That's the last time. That's the last time. We're going to revert the rolls to hopefully do better this time. I didn't do better in the uh, Hungarian battle. Seven one. Seven one. Bad rolls again. Jesus. Jesus fucking Christ. It's for the sake of having fun. I'm trying to. Now I think we got a better one that time, which might mean that it's fine. This it's 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 fine. We did it this time. Okay, that's better. I didn't I didn't micro in my general though. Hungary is wiped again. Second time they've been wiped completely. Okay. Let's not let them retreat to Danzig. I don't think I can quite pull off a full encirclement because that's a lot of provinces that this one fucking borders. I could have if I tried earlier. Will the Scandinavians give me a ch Okay, it's encircled. Good. Good. Battle war score. Battle war score. Encycled. Good stuff. I'm going to lose a, a lot of men to attrition here. A lot of good men will be lost. A lot of good men will die today to attrition. It's all coming together. The viewer count is sort of coming together. I did predict. I correctly predicted during the last stream that this stream, the second session, would have half the viewers of the first. That's the way it goes on Twitch with these streams. A lot of people are like, oh my god, a new campaign? And then they watch it. What's this over here? Like, what's this? Just one isolated stack. The way the AI plays this fucking game. It's not the case on YouTube. All my series get consistent views on YouTube. It's just stream attention span. Yeah, start a new campaign each stream, yeah. Multi! I don't give a fuck. I'm so sick of the way the AI plays that I'm just going to multi-province away. Where's my war score? I, I thought I just won two crushing battles. Multiple crushing battles everywhere. And the battle war score is still this fucked? Come on. Maybe it was this one. So, uh, bring some armies over there. Let's sort that out. Austrian AI killing Croatia. That's right. What is that war all about? Illyria attacked Austria for Slovenia. That's what it is. 
And it backfired on Illyria. They're just sieging down for you, mate. I wonder what would happen if I started feeding all of Eastern Europe. I think it's it's more likely that I'm going to be able to get this through events rather than man like from sphering everything. I don't think there's any point. I think in the long run, it will be taken through events and decisions. That's what I'm saying. Reminds me of the Hungary series. Hmm. Wasn't JBA on in that game? I'm getting stab hit now. See, there's a lot of bullshit in this game that we need to get out in Open Vic. You know? There's a lot of bullshit that needs to not be in the game. Like, look at the situation on the ground. What actually happened. I defeated the Scandinavian forces in Northern Germany. I've crushed Hungary, but due to some little technicalities, they have more war score for some reason and they can stab hit. It's not right. They think they can stab hit me? Well, I'm going to hold the stab hits on the screen. Lida, that's a forested farmland. But look at the shape of the province. Oh, they're actually attacking me in Kovno. EU4 stab hits require 50% war score. Well, the game came out after this. They improved some things. That's an 80k. Fuck me. Well, I'm going to take this fight here anyway in Kovno. I'm going to take that fight. Hopefully they don't reinforce it with that massive stack behind it. Let's grab the two defense bloke. He's on the sign. Fuck's sake. I don't think starting to reinforce it will deter them, so I'm going to start now. It'll give me a better fighting chance at the initial outset of the battle. 9th of October. How do you even have negative war score? Battle war score, apparently. This big stack will take attrition. That's a good thing. Ninth of October. One more day and I'll start reinforcing from everywhere. 8th, I mean 8th. Okay, go. Everything I have on that fucking battle. From everywhere. I can't afford to lose it. So, we'll win it. Those Scandies, the other Scandinavian stack is just going to go on siege. Okay, we got a decent roll this time. Things are finally in our favour. A little bit. Look at the org! Why is that happening? So, I have these culture techs. I've got one line of mill techs. Anyway, plus 30% culture tech research, so we're going to stick with that. Avant-garde intelligence, yeah, but we're only doing culture tech. Positivism now. We really need these anyway. The Hungary series is where I played the Japan... Oh, you were Japan in that. Oh, irrelevant. <laughs> but, yeah. Shambolic org. I know. Just I have the infinite numbers, but I just don't have org. Oh, and I will be following up to Insterberg. Bit more sieging of Hungary for some war score, eh? Come on. Yep. Hungary is rebuilding an army as the AI always does. Never played near you ever. Uh, we got there first, but that doesn't really make much difference. The rolls, the org, it's all the same. Hungary is separately white piecing. Fuck off. I'm taking shit. The battle war score, I have to claw it back. Also, what's this? Minus seven from blockades. Because they're blockading Aragon. I shouldn't have called Aragon in, I suppose, but that was my mistake for thinking that calling in a big great power might help me. No, it has the opposite effect. 
We take out these Scandinavian sacks one by one, and then I'm gonna follow up the Memel next and hit that. Well, they're retreating there. This is gonna be a risky battle. Which is why I'm taking a save. I just accidentally declined the stab hit in order to press uh, escape to hit the uh, save mistake. No. Keep going. Scandi has a taker on your colony. The absolute audacity. Okay, good casualties, good casualties. They're attacking me here? They're attacking me there! Stop it. Stop this. How dare you? I don't have org. They know I don't have org and they're continually attack even though they're outnumbered 3 to 1. Ridiculous. This game's ridiculous, but I love it. Hungary campaign is going well. Hey, Scandi has less org. They're reinforcing! No! Don't do that! Don't do it. Good casualties, bad fucking rolls. I won! I auto-retreat memed the rest of them. Marginal farmland. There's no defensive penalty there, but the battle that is starting to look unfavourable, the numbers. It's only two to one. The whole Scandi army's here, dealing with me. They're still at war with Bohemia. They are still at war with Bohemia. I'm going to wipe that 5k instead. I can never... There's a troop that I just can never build. Wait, they followed up or they retreated down south there? Okay, I'll take it. Look at the rolls they keep fucking getting. Seriously, look at that. Look at the rolls. And now this 70k stack is coming in. Careful. Careful. Okay. It's going to Königsberg. It might be moving to Instaberg after. We're in danger. Okay, it's just stopping Königsberg. That's good. Meanwhile, we can't even wipe a fucking 5k. Does Victor have the Lucky Nations mechanic? Apparently. And it's not me. Right. Can we hit them? Nah. Uh, spread out and reinforce what I can then, maybe? We're going to be taking attrition. I'm going to try and spread out as much as I can, but we are going to be taking attrition. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Reinforce this, get the org back up. Hungary is building a big stack. This is just one of those wars, isn't it? It's just one of those wars. Get away. We won numerous decisive victories against the Scandinavian army, but they're still vastly outnumbering us and pressing forward. That's just how it works. Oh shit. Uh, 3rd of January, 19th of January. Um, 4th, okay. There's going to be a battle there, everyone, okay. There's going to be a battle in Suvelki, which means get the two defense, get the two defense, and uh, get everything in it. Look at the org. I wouldn't be surprised if this battle gets instantly stack wiped. Yo Spud, when are you going to play the EIF game? Oh well, you see, that's been something that on my mind for the last three fucking years. Although the start of the EIF community was a bit rough. I didn't go too well, you probably know what happened there. But I've been, I've been interested in your mod ever since, but I just think it'd be awkward. Since I've never played, but... One day, acquire Aragonese Lesser Antilles. Look at that. I do appreciate your invite. I've been interested in the mod and I wanted to play, you know. 
One of these days I will. One of these days. We're getting good rolls. We're going to win this battle. We're clawing back the battle war score. Come on. We've got this. Org. Organization. I got a 9 roll for the first time in this war. The organization. And they're not reinforcing the battle. Come on, Bohemia. Yes, Bohemia. Yes, Bohemia. Get in here. Yes, Bohemia. Yes, Bohemia. Help me out in the... Uh, oh, why are you fucking off, Bohemia? Why are you fucking off? I subbed the other day. It was very weird getting to understand the province selector stuff. Subbed as in... Oh, you played in the EIF. Okay. Oh, come on, I lose that battle. I, I lose that battle. I lose that battle. I, that really fucking happened. I actually lost it. That battle was lost by me. Despite getting nine rolls, outnumbering about five to one, dealing better casualties from start to finish. Can anyone actually diagnose what's wrong with my army? The high war exhaustion could be a reason. I don't know why my war exhaustion is that high. It can't all have come from just this war alone. Right, spread out, retreat, and just sit and wait for the org to come back. The game or mod needs, just needs to make it so you at least have a chance of winning wars. Like, I have an overwhelmingly large army, I have the potential, but it's, the game just physically, due to some weird mechanic, doesn't let me win the war. Despite my best efforts. I'm playing well, mostly. Spread out. Maybe we should wipe the Hungarians for the third time. Forest Hills, Defence 2. Never mind. That's another mysterious uh, terrain that you can't see. Okay, sit back and reinforce the org. Wait, 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 wait. Move back. They're starting to occupy me now. Um, We ought to give people a reform or else we're about to have a gigantic national... We're about to have gigantic, unprecedented levels of rebels. So that's why I should allow public meetings. Yeah. Public meetings. Go away, rebels. Don't happen. Don't do it. It was nuts, Traster. Oh. Throw Aragon under the bus. I don't know how to get them out of the war. And that's our tag switch to separate piece them. It'd be really good if I could. I maybe should just get them out of the war. I can just go and throw them. I, I'm seeing some little tiny snippets of organization start to return to some of my stacks in places. A little bit here and there, maybe. Maybe something. Starting to, maybe a little bit. A little bit of org here. Scandi has a lot and you don't. Can I add on Hungary? No. Um... You, know, you can't be blockaded if you don't have a coastline. And my coastline down here isn't being blockaded. But it's being occupied by Burgundy somehow. Bohemia can fight them a little bit. Come on. Bohemia, I'm giving you mill access. Use it. The one positive thing is that during that big exchange with Scandi, I managed to claw back positive, or I managed to get some battle war score back. You know, it's only minus one now. The main problem with war score is blockades. And if I siege down, I mean, if I got rid of Aragon from the war, and they're really not doing a single thing. But I, I can't be arsed doing the whole tag switch, but then reload the game because the, it glitches out the AI. I can't be bothered doing that whole thing.
Research points, meanwhile. I'm getting some. Yeah, fight a scorched earth policy, I suppose. Thank you, you can't cope, unfortunately, aka Taco Man, for subbing for three months. Thank you. And guess what? This month is cheaper because it is sub. Wait. Wait, I've got an idea. Uh... Thank you for subbing. Uh, it was cheaper this month because you have subbed during. There you go. So, Twitch always recommends bikini streamers and all I watch is you play a map game. I know, I know. I think Twitch is doing some kind of gaslighting procedure, right? Here's my theory on what they do. They recommend these naked streamers just because they want to. But, it gaslights you into thinking it's based on your own search history. So, if you were to post it and go, why am I get? If you were going to go around, complain and go, why am I getting recommended all these bikini streamers? People would be like, it's based on your own search history. <laughs> You've been watching them. <laughs> so it just it's a big gaslight. It's just But I swear to god, I've never organically clicked on any of these bikini streamers once in my life. And yet the uh they they come up. Gaslights my GF into thinking I'm watching bikini streamers. Ugh. Well, just uh, just be straight and explain the situation. It's Twitch's fault, not yours. I'm about to be occupied even more for more war school here. Who cares what that they appear, to be honest? I, mean, I don't know. I mean, I care a little bit, because it's just not a great look for your website. I mean, I'm not going out saying, oh, ban them on this and that, but it's just not a great look. It just makes you look like some... Oh, I accident. I'm getting some... You know those... Just some pop-up you accidentally clicked. It's like porn. Oh no, it's Twitch. Just a bad look. It looks trashy. It looks trashy. That org is just not going up. It's right. Are there any console commands that give me org? Because this is genuinely broken. How do, what do I do? Bohemia is still at war. They have access. They're moving in. Burgundy is even able to send troops now. This is seriously fucked. I mean, come on. It's actually broken and fucked. I can't believe we're running into problems like that. Budapest is good farmland, so that's uh, I, I can attack that. Should be able to give yourself the goods. It's not, goods don't do reorging. Um, org is based on other things. Goods give you reinforcement. I think. Organization, blah blah blah. Organization. If I were to go to my war exhaustion, or maybe if I go to the military tab, uh, organization regain. It's my fucking. It's war exhaustion plus my fucking anti-military party. It's it's war exhaustion, first of all. But it's also... I'm going to take a save in case this fucks me up, but I'm going to put in pro-military. I'm going to just put in the agrarian party. Even if... I'll tell you what, the agrarians are good because I can close all these... Permanently close these fucking luxury clothes. Adidas. Um, but yeah, the fact that the game locks you into these shitty parties is uh, one of the underlying problems here the whole time. So I, I still have huge war exhaustion, but changing my party right now should alleviate the issue to an extent. And my org, my org is fine on my Hungarian armies, by the way. I'm getting stab hit again. Look. Get this guy in. I'm a really big great power. I'm getting three Poloski. I'm getting a prestige from shit. 
Now the org should be just rapidly climbing now. Oh, I'll take some take, I'll take some research points, please. Attack that. Very nice. Let the Scandinavians take attrition. That scorched Earth policy. Occupy. Look, even more bullshit. Look, even more bullshit. That shouldn't exist. Even more bullshit. Two defense. Um. We've knocked Hungary out again, but they will still rebuild an army, probably. Oh, I'm getting some org. Some of these stacks are going up a tiny bit. Look. They are. Maybe. It might get to the point where we might be able to fight one or two battles out of them. Maybe. We're getting to a point where we can fight a cheeky battle. And Bohemia is doing something. So Scandi might turn back and try to hit them or occupy that. Do we do we lower the war exhaustion through events, guys? Eh... Do we? Do we? I'm about a hundred here. What do you think? What do you think? We could do that. Um, I didn't track my war exhaustion. I might still have high war exhaustion from the Bohemian War, and then it's led to this. Maybe. Chat is uh, chat is giving me the mandate to do it. Chat is mandating. They're all right with me making this move. They're okay. All right. Lower the war exhaustion. I veto the decision. Okay, give me your reasons. I'd rather see you go big and just cheat the whole war if you're going to cheat either way. No, you know me. I cheat with half measures. I cheat with small things that give me an advantage or based on what I believe has been bullshit against me to give me the ability to win the war myself through my own skill. I'll give it to a poll. I'll do a poll. But... You've got three minutes. Do I lower my war exhaustion through events? This uh, this poll is open to being overruled. I re reserve the right. It's overwhelming for yes. The mandate is clear. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give it the full three minutes, but the mandate is uh, unbelievable. It is just clear. Can you see what we voted for? Not individually. I can't see what individuals voted for. It's private. Look, it's secret ballots. I have the secret ballots reform. The poll is overwhelming. It's just a clear mandate for me. Currently, 80%. 15 votes to 4 on, in my favour. And I get my own vote, you know. I voted yes. Uh, I get my own vote in this. King gets to vote as well, you know. King Stanis Chanislav. Chadislav would be in favour. Can I end the poll early? I mean, come on. It's clear and... Well, I'm going to just do what the poll says, even if it's carrying on in the background. Uh, what's the event then? Makes it so you can get multiple votes of channel points. There is an option for that, but I don't allow that. There is an option for me to enable additional voting with channel points, but I think that's just stupid. I think that's really... Really just a shit mechanic. I don't think it's good. Now I need to be informed on what the event actually is, though. Should I make a prediction? Well, yeah, you should have made a prediction at the start of the war, to be honest. Uh, will I win the war prediction for channel points? Remember the difference between uh, predictions and polls. I would also like a prediction, please. And I would like the event... The lower 
War exhaustion, if anyone knows it. Anyone know it? Someone in the chat literally just offered to tell me. Can I clutch this? How long do they have to vote? You give them a long time. Where's the... Uh, does anyone know out of the 77 people currently watching? Five minutes? Oh my god. Way too long. I'm not waiting the whole five minutes, but I'm also not going to ask you to uh, restart it. 818520 Nope. Good job, everyone. Did that just change my national fucking value? Or... No, it didn't. It said something about it. It was just one of the requirements or something that I didn't do. 12060. I just accidentally uh, got stab hit. So it's up to 100. But I'm taking a save just so you don't fuck up my game with these wrong events. It's different in the mod, to be fair. That's why you're getting it all wrong. Okay. We get it. Get to lower it by five at a time. There we go. Cheers, guys. A new great patriotic wave of fervour has gripped the Polish nation with a motivation to fight back against the Scandinavian invaders, retake the land they stole from us. It's sweeping the nation. And we are... Um, we're asking the question to the Polish people. Chcesz wojny totalnej? Tak! Yes, tak! 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 And they want it. We're gonna do it. What am I at now? 50. You know what? I'm being reasonable. I'm gonna say 50 is where I'm gonna draw the line. I'm just gonna hit it 50. I deserve some more exhaustion in this situation. It's just going up to 100 that quickly is genuine bullshit. It wouldn't happen. You know. We're giving the Polish people total war. Not the games. They've gone to shit over the past few years. But we're giving them uh, the real total war. I think the Wallachians will win this battle against Damien Barbecue. Does, why does... Feeding hungry soldiers reduce war exhaustion? I don't know. Save now we've found our motivation. Um, anyway, let's watch the org go up. It's, it's actually going up. It's going up. We're back. We're so back. Still gonna be... I don't even... Still can't guarantee I'll actually win this war even with the org, you know. It's really fucking difficult. And Scandinavia might be able to might attack me. If they do attack me in saint Domerge, that's a good place for them to attack me because that's the hidden mountain we all know about. Yugoslav pan-nationalists. Oof. Is Bohemia doing a single fucking thing? You're at war with them. They're still at war. They're at war with Burgundy. I think they might have actually peaced out with Scandi. I think they might have peaced out with Scandi, lads. Oh my god, where are they going? Take attrition, Scandi, take attrition. Are they hitting me in saint -Domerge? No. Kjeldse. Okay. The org is increasing. It's really happening. Take attrition, Scandi. Take attrition. Oh, they're getting closer. They're getting closer to my line. Getting closer to my defense lines. Moldova, what are you doing? No! Moldova! Careful! 
They're gonna get killed. Moving closer. Low value prediction, stream dead. You make whatever value out of it that you want. Okay, they're attacking. They're attacking the hidden place. They are, in fact, attacking the hidden mountain. What a great place for them to attack. It's poetic. I've got a, a new two defense. I think I rolled a new two defense recently. Yeah. Melchior. Ridge Smigley. It has to be a Ridge Smigley, doesn't it? It has to be a Ridge Smig... Uh, Smigwee, Smigwee. What, what other names could we have? Had to be him. Alright, on the 20th... What, what, they're, they're arriving quick. Alright, get in. Everything, everything, everything. Everything in this battle. Here we go. Rolls. Decent roll. Massive terrain boost from in my favour. This is the turning point. The Battle of San Domerge is the Stalingrad of this war. Burgundy is here, but I'm winning, but I've got no commander, so I'm reinforcing with a commander. Jesus Christ. I'll get in there. Okay. Right. Good. Great victory. I don't need to reinforce it with absolutely everything. We're going to prepare some follow-ups. Thank you for unfortunately gifting a sub. You can't cope underscore unfortunately gifted a tier 1 Thank sub. Thank you for unfortunately one. gifting. They have given 22 gift subs in the channel. 22. Yeah, Beanbot, to be fair, I did start streaming earlier. But the people who miss stuff can always rely on the, the VODs channel. I, you know, sometimes I have to make accommodations for things and change the time I stream. It is what it is. Oh, Isopropy, thanks for gifting us up. The Scandinavians may have realized it's a mountain. Yeah. Isopropyl 1314 gifted a tier 1 sub to Rinbei. Um. Yeah, thank you again for the gifted subs. We've overstacked the battle. But, um, that's fine. We're gonna get Battle War score in my favor. Well, we already have. We can get up to 50 of that. So, I think Aragorn's actually out of the war anyway, good. Now it's just occupation from Scandi, which obviously is giving them loads of war score. This is um historical, isn't it? This shit going on with Scandi. Oh no, they attacked Moldova. They're retreating to Kiel, so I will follow up to that. Moldova, no... We should leave one stack behind this one. We can encircle that. Well, it's, it's dangerous to attempt an encircle of that because they have a lot of troops surrounding in the other locations. The Deluge. Troll Despair. I should add that. Oh, what the, the casualties. The casualties. Oh, they're going to Chesakova. I'm not going there. I'm being really careful. I'm, being, I'm taking this slowly. One stack at a time. Moldova retreated. Good decision, Moldova. That's actually the best AI move I've ever seen. They retreated over to my lines. Wow. Did a player hop on that? This is the deluge now. We won a battle in Jor. That's uh, uh, Burgundy. Wait. What's this? Oh, it's just... I... I just had a bit of a brain fuck there. I was I was looking at this dark country next to me in the corner of my eye. It's like, what's this dark country in Germany? Is Germany front? No, it's just it's just Austria with fog of war. Uh, now follow up on Burgundy. Can't believe we're also fighting Burgundy as well. Is there anyone? Is there anything we're not up against here? Is this war a sabaton reference? I just took a shit yesterday. That was my Sabaton reference. Right. Follow up. Or should I attack? Now we should follow up. Or we should get overconfident and attack everywhere. Follow up on Chesakova as well. 
That's what I'm all about. Thank you for gifting under the sub. You can't cope underscore unfortunately gifted a tier 1 sub to the Sandman is here. They Thank have you. given 23 gift subs in the channel. Scandi plus Burgundy, now this reminds me of the Kurlin challenge. Bad roll! A bit enough more than I can chew. Now I'll win that battle. The org is back. The org is all back. We will win. We will prevail. Thank you for unfortunately gifting so many subs on this channel. Sopron. That's a burgundy wiped. Paul Fox is gifting one. I don't know if gifted subs are cheaper in the sub September. So if you if, Fox uh, just sub for yourself if you want to the cheap on one. The I appreciate the gifted. Thank you. That's a wipe. We just wipe them. Now, get back to Warsaw because we need to unoccupy that. Got a modifier being sieged. They're retreating to Kielce? No other Scandinavian attacks coming in from any other direction. The Council of Athens. Oh, they're going to Warsaw. Miracle of the Vistula incoming. Yep. It's happening. I don't really have a defense general for it. But one defense will be. Um, yeah, Miracle of the Vistula. They stopped attacking. They stopped attacking. They restarted attacking. And they're attacking Sandomerge again. Second battle of Sandomerge for no reason. Uh, defense. One will do. Okay. Let them move to Warsaw this time. They stopped due to my movement. Also, um, tech. Uh, I think even though we have a minus five, we're getting freedom of trade. Freedom of trade is going to tide us over. It'll be done in a year. And then, for a few months, I will save research points and then we'll go straight into state and government. Sounds like a good plan to me. Uh, I, I don't know, Taco Man. See, I'm coming from the perspective of a streamer, not a subber, so I don't know the prices, I have to admit. Miracle of the Vistula, come on. The Battle War score must be ramping up, it's 27. I'm about to overcome 32 worth of Occupation War score just with battles. Alright, we won that. Spread out. They called off their attack to Sandomerge. We should attack them. Yeah. Um, they moved away! That's fine. Look how much we're crushing it. What are you hoping to get out of this war? All my cores on Scandinavia, Slovakia, and releasing multiple regions of Romania to form Romania. Yeah. Unfortunately, they, I think they need uh, a bit of the Ottomans to form it as well. Ugh, what have the Ottomans ever done for me? Will they join my war? To be fair, they will, but I don't need them. The Ottomans might have been able to join this whole time. Battle of Warsaw, following up. Why would you want Romania formed? They start as a puppet. Yeah, it would be a, a Romanian formed. You Can't you release Transylvania? I can. What I mean is that I won't be able to form Romania off the back of doing this until I get that bit of the Ottomans. However, I can either give them... Well, I can't give them. I will do a liberate country. Oh, I can add war goals now. We can check it. Liberate country, Transylvania. That's a hundred war score. Uh, can't you form Romania by sphering Hungary? Possibly. Create Romania. 
Yes, yes. So what I could do... Um, liber okay, right. right. Ruth Principality of Ruthenia. Free people. Principality of Ruthenia in Slovakia. It costs 44 war score to release one province. But, um... Add to sphere? No, yes. Okay. I can do it. I can, uh... So, if we work this out... So do that. Three people, Ruthenia, Slovakia. Hand Slovakia back. It counts it as the whole region, even though it's technically one core. And that AI country, I think he will probably give it back. I can add war goals, which means I'm adding my cores. The cores on Scandi are cheap, but it doesn't matter because we can separate peace people out anyway. Is angry I left the war? No. Oh, they're offering white peace now. They're afraid. They're afraid. We brought them to their knees. Illyria is a bit of a fucked country, but I'll sphere it. And um, if we sphere the Ottomans, then that covers Dobruja, which means after, or pretty soon, we can actually make a Romania. But there will be a puppet. But there'll be a very useful thing to have around, you know. That's why you do it. We've got a lot of sieging and unsieging to do. That's, that could be a big battle. That could be a big battle. Oh, they're attacking Plotsk. No commander. Whoa, 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 whoa. Commanders anywhere? This guy. Two defense. They're going ahead with the attack. Burgundians are here. Shit we have to deal with. My other general took over. No. Org. The org. My war exhaustion has risen, hasn't it? Wait, I back up to 100? How fast does war exhaustion fucking increase? Okay, that is... That is insane war exhaustion increase. That's ridiculous. Mods. Modders, change it. That is absolutely ridiculous. If I don't do this now, I'm literally in danger of losing... Yeah, I'm in, I'm in danger of a Scandinavian counter-offensive literally beating me because of my org going down and... Yeah, it's fucked up. I literally just swept them out of my country and it's putting me back up to 100 war exhaustion. It's not right. The Doge and Taco Man, both of my mods, are leaving at the same time. People are watching on the sidelines, you know. Shady characters are watching my two mods leaving the stream. You never know. But I'm joking, it's fine. Yeah, what's Scandinavia's war exhaustion? 59. I'm going to put it down to zero because it'll be rising up 17 every month. So who do you think is going to win the football then? Uh, Scotland or England? If I send, send everything here over there, we a stack maybe. Warsaw needs to be unoccupied, so... As I think you see, there's a modifier. And uh, I had Ridge Smigley, the two defense in there, that's good. Okay, we're doing good casualties. And they're attacking Lomza. They're so aggressive. They're so aggressive. Okay, I think I'm winning each of these battles. Good. Scotland, rooting for the Scottish. Right, okay. Balls to the wall, follow up. This is a forested farmland. That's an easy follow up. Send everything we have. And uh, take the stack out as well. Fuck it.
It's, a, it's interesting, the event chains haven't really continued while I've been in this war. Maybe they're reliant on being at peace, or maybe there's a big break in them, or maybe the next move for the storyline is to take decisions that I have for the constitution and all that shit. So that could be the case. Right, great victories, look at that. Look what happens when you have a little bit of organisation regain in your army. See? You just need some of that, and suddenly you can actually fight on a level playing field, and uh, the war comes down to skill. They're retreating to Allenstein. What's this? That's just a trade policy. Right. Unoccupy, unoccupy, unoccupy. It's this song again! Fuck off! Why is this song coming up so many times? This is like the third time on the stream. Oh my god! I hate it when AI stacks literally just come out of absolutely nowhere and hit you. Alright, we wipe them there. Good. Legendary victory. Full spectrum dominance. They're attacking me in Lit Litsk. Lick. Go for it. Go for it, idiots. See what happens. See what happens. Rebels! Oh. Scandi rebels. Okay, they attack me there. Deal with that, please. Right. And they're going to lick. They're going to rebel glitch me. They're going to rebel exploit me. Whoa. No, we won the battle 31st. They got a big roll, but they're still losing. Research points! Research points! So in that time, my war exhaustion already went up again back to about 41. Even in the time I'm, on, I'm unoccupying myself, I lowered it manually, and it's still very, very high. So Valky, okay, that's good. Cheat there. Are you winning, son? Yes. We did some things to ensure that we were winning, yeah, but I think they were very necessary. The AI was exploiting against me. Add all the cores. Oh, man. Oh, we should be uh, we should be separate piecing out with Hungary for what I should add on them. So I just need to add add to sphere, and then we can separate piece Hungary now. Is there anything else I needed to do to Hungary? Nah, that's it. Yeah, we're good. The rest of Hungary, the rump Hungary that gets created after they lose one province there, is going to be in my sphere. They will not accept. Oh, we, we need to keep sieging Hungary a little bit more then. Apparently they're not defeated. You wouldn't know to look at them. They think they can still put up a big fight and win this war. We'll siege them down. First time on your streams, mind if I ask, what do you think of the current state of Vic 3? Well, I would love to answer that, but there's one thing. I'm actually going to do a discussion live stream with PyChucker on YouTube this upcoming week, hopefully. And Victoria 3 is going to be a topic on that. Now, I can't commit, I can't tell you exactly what time and place that stream is going to be. Well, it's on YouTube. So I do discussion streams on YouTube and game streams here. I'd love to just answer, but I actually want to save it for a special stream that I want to do with Pie Chucker on YouTube. You should be able to get that recommended to you pretty easily on your YouTube feed. I'll announce it. I'll, I'll keep you posted for it. 
All right, we're going to talk about that. There's a lot of interesting things to see. So the Bohemians, okay, good, yeah. So the Bohemians in this war, they separate pieced out against Gandhi, but they're still at war with Burgundy. If they're lined up on my border, I don't know. The AI just does that all the time. Okay, Hungary will not accept peace. And uh, they're fighting the Second Great German War. But, okay, it's, it's against Burgundy, it says. Weird. Did I just get attacked or something somewhere? Right. We can add more on Scandi, by the way. Third German Council. Hmm. We don't just have to content ourselves for our cores. We could maybe take... Uh, Moscow is expanding in Russia. Whoa. Oh my god. Okay. New threat is emerging. New threat is emerging. Great. Just what we need. We're barely even finished with our two main threats, Bohemia and Scandi, here, and now there's a new threat emerging. We could take the Baltics, we could release Pomerania, we could release a Baltic entire country. The island check, well, it's been occupied, so it's probably not growing as much. It's actually gone down a bit, which is new. Never seen that before, it's gone down. Muscovy winning is rare. Oh, this is a super rare playthrough, you know. Different things are happening. Things you don't normally see. Up to three speed. We're in the stage of the war where we are just idly occupying. Take your course first and reps for money. I don't need reps. Do you see my money? The money is only bad because we're at war. And my taxes are down. I don't need reps. The taxes were actually meant to be higher. Oh, Scandi just lost to Jacobins, I think. Scale issue. Okay, we got high militancy, so we should pass our reform. And we should pass uh, press, because it does something to literacy, I think. The Danubians have indeed formed. Yep, yeah, there they are. Carinthia is also free as a satellite. Ottoman Empire. And uh, will Hungary peace out yet? Surely the thing I added on them should be a ticker now. Another problem is there is a Burgundian stack running amok in Transylvania. <laughs> of visiting all the castles. I'll deal with it. Scandi is now offering shit, but not enough. They've realised they've lost for the first time. Holy hell, I missed a lot. Yeah. You can catch up on the VOD if you like. Did I seriously just get banned by Scandi in the Ottoman Empire? Alright, that's it. I'm calling in the Ottomans just so Scandi is blocked from fearing them. Is that a great geopolitical move? Yes. Right, now we wait, stock up a bit of t uh, research points. The abdication of King Christian III. Scandi is falling apart. The war exhaustion they're on now is biting them. Finally, a little bit of damage to them for once. They deserve it. We're governed for years by the party of Plutus, the party of unrepentant self-interest. 
Revelation of years massive corruption by the Unionist Party. Yep. Radicals call for a republic. Scandi is crumbling. I don't know if I get any future events for the Baltics specifically. I don't know. I don't know if I should take it now. We could just acquire State Courland. Why not? But we need Hungary out of the war first. I don't have the infamy to take it all at once now, calm down. My pops are growing a lot. I'm not losing too many immigrants now. Good. That's right, Beanbot. They're still trying to rebuild brigades. They still think they can win this war. Annex everything using console. Well, well, what would be the fun in doing anything? What would be the point? Eh? If you want to win the game by using everything in console, lol, then you can just go ahead and do that yourself off stream. Go ahead, I'm not stopping you. I'm not stopping you at all. Go ahead. Do what you want. Whatever you want. Wait. This Hungarian situation is a bit ridiculous. I mean, surely. Do I not have a core? I mean, a ticker. Yes, I even have a ticker against Hungary. Ridiculous. Spotgun condones console usage in videos. Hmm. Does anyone in the chat know any YouTubers who are accused of using consoles in their videos? We won a decisive little battle against Scandi. Genius. Yeah. Everyone everyone just knows. It's a it's a bit of a shame really. Because this shit with Ludi allegedly cheating gets brought up all the time in my chat. Everyone seems to know. But I think Ludi seems like a great guy and I like his channel. But I, I don't know what his whole stance on that thingy is. I don't know how he responded. I know I asked. I know I asked. But I'm talking in other times. In other times people have also mentioned it. As a matter of fact, there's been many cases on my streams. Whenever I bring up Ludi... In a positive sense, I just bring him up as someone I know of. I then hear people going, but he did this, but he did that. With a game this old, you simply need to use the console at times. I know I do, but I've never used the console. I've never hidden my use of the console. And the accusations against Ludi or whatever are that he would um, do it in a video without showing that he did it. And it would be like sort of cheap. But this, and that's what gets brought up. I, I use the console in Vic 2, but I've never hidden it. So far from me being a drama stirrer, I'm actually trying to just... I'm trying to understand this, and I don't think... Ludi seems like a really great guy and a great YouTuber, but people seem to have a lot of uh, dislike for him for something he allegedly did. Okay, that's too many clergymen in that region, holy shit. Calm down. Give them some bureaucrats. Some Reddit, it must be true. Yeah. State and government. I'm, I'm basically... Just, I keep trying to... I, I want to try to find the facts on that. I need to find the facts on these accusations. And the other side of the story. 
Not very many people are willing to give people the benefit of the doubt and look to the other side of the story. I know I'm the victim of that. But I, I do for other people. Um, yes, Beanbot, fair, fair point. In general. Use the consoles isn't cheated also. Well, a lot of people are coming up for defences for it, but I think they're missing the point. Okay, the Ottomans is falling apart, which is fine. Don't care. Even if it's even if it's entertaining, and even if you do need to use console commands for paradox games, um, using the console without telling anyone and just doing it as to present it as if you're not—that's unethical. If it's true, we don't. I don't think we have any facts on if they actually did that. And it's presenting itself as a guide, indeed the lol, if it's true. Which I don't know, I genuinely don't, but if anyone does that, then it's wrong. You don't present it as a guide and hide the fact you've used the console command. That's wrong. If you use a console command, using a console command in a game isn't wrong. Doing it and pretending you're not and making it a guide is wrong. But if, has anyone done that? I don't know. Some people are accused of it. Right. Scandi has launched a fucking landing. And I'm going to go and clear that up. You called them into a war and they imploded on themselves. That sounds like a job well done, to be honest. Is Hungary going to fucking peace out yet? Okay, yes. I was about to yes man that. Right. It, it looks like Ruthenia might get the whole region. Malorussian and Galician is all they accept. And that's only one province of it. They, they might still... They might still be on their way to give the land back with the fucking HPM event thing. They might be giving the land back still. We'll see. They might give it back? Are they going to be greedy as fuck? Can you create Romania now? No, uh, I need to sphere the Ottomans first. Which I'm kind of blocked from doing. So, uh, just finish off Scandi here. What we've added is three cores, and that's little amount of war score. We can add something else. What do we add? Uh, uh, um, what could we add? What could we add? What could we add? What could we add? Just Courland. Take Courland. Place in the sun. Oh, we can get a colony. That's what we could do. We could get a nice colony somewhere in the world. Scandinavian Aryan Arm Empire. Uh, some resources would be nice. Kulin would make for nice borders. Um, or Caribbean. This side away. That's a state. Um... Increase the Lesser Antilles. Same region. Nah, that's inefficient. For ports. Uh, how close are you to 100 war score? It's going to take a long time to gain 100 war score, but I'm far away from having 100 war score added. Do you have any big LARP decisions? A lot. I'm just I'm just going to take Courland, okay? I'll just take Courland. Yeah, easy enough. And now we need to sit at peace and go towards our next uh, constitutional event, decision, thing. Alright, you sending the peace? Come on. That's it. Victory! Keep everything we gain. Look at that. Ah, yes. Glorious. What do we do about the Slovakian situation? I was fully expecting that to only get one province. And it got the whole region. If I wanted to free the whole region, then I would have done free Nitra or Slovakia. But they fucking... 
I want to take that one province that has my accepted pops in it. That's the whole reason I did that, actually. I could, uh... I could console command... <laughs> I could console command the rest of it back to Hungary. Or... Or... Um... Oh, here's what I'll do. What's the tag of Principality of Ruthenia? What could that be? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna tag switch to Ruthenia and release Nietzsche from it. Give me some ideas for the tag of Principality of Ruthenia. There's two different types of Ruthenia, by the way. There's a there's the Ruthenian Federation and the Principality of Ruthenia. Or oh, that's fucking Portugal, fool. Uc Ukraine already exists. Your your suggestions is a, are quite bad. That is a scary Ukraine vote, by the way. We're about to have a, a showdown between Moscow and Ukraine, which is very awkward. Provide E. No, it won't. That just shows you the number of the province. Oh, Prov ID is short for Show Province ID. At least I learned something from that. RTE. Pra? Pru? Your suggestions are useless, Lord Aki. I think you're trolling. Root Adge? What? Well, we can unpause while we work that out, though. Uh, open these factories. We gained a lot of clothes factory and luxury clothes factories in the Prussian regions we just took. Wow. Great industry. Demo. Yeah, lol is going to check the files. It's the only way. Thank you very much. It can't be you. Wait, something got released anyway. What just happened? Something happened anyway. Did... Wait. Did they actually just do... They, they independently did what I was going to tag switch to them to make them do. We don't need it, guys. What the fuck? But it's a satellite. Wait, no, actually, still get the... Still get the... Uh, still get the thingy. I still want it. Because I want to go to it and release that satellite so that I can just annex. Wait. No, 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 it might still work. If I just... Use minor conquest on the Principality of Ruthenia. Their puppet will just break free automatically anyway. Why didn't you take it directly? I didn't want to take all of Slovakia just for that. Uh, so, uh, basically I just want to separate this one province that has my accepted pops from the rest of it. And uh, the AI did it for me, essentially. Very strange. Do I get any new decisions now for having Germany? No, we just need to adopt a provisional constitution, and uh, all that all I, need, all that I need for that is state and government, which we're researching. So we are so back. Look at the amount of shitty troops I can build with the shitty tr type of troop. My whole army will just be a mix of the shitty type of troop and the good troops. I don't care. Right. I can form Romania after I sphere the Ottomans. Did anyone get that tag? Nah. There's no way it wasn't root. It's not. But I don't need the tag though, remember? I don't I tried root. That was like the first thing I tried. Wasn't it? The wedding to the Baltic Sea. Um that's our dear Baltic Sea. Oh, this is a quote from Stanislav. As Venice so symbolizes its marriage with the Adriatic, so we symbolize our magic with our our marriage with our dear Baltic Sea. Early this morning, King Stanislav arrived, arrived at the new Gdansk railway station. There's no railways in Gdansk. Um, so, he, uh, the Archbishop of Gdansk presented him with two platinum rings. 
The king mounted a white horse at the head of his personal Ulan guard, thronged by cheering crowds as he made his way to the seashore. The main point of the ceremony was marked with a Roman Catholic service, with a sermon told by Reverend Michal Pazdan. At its conclusion, the king cast one of the rings into the sea, the other being fitted into a velvet glove bearing the Commonwealth's coat of arms to symbolise marriage between the ocean and the nation. The flag of the navy was blessed, and then, to the salvo of 21 guns, it was raised on a mast by sailors Tadeusz Jarul Jaruzelski and Edvard Batslavski. And I didn't get anything. I've got cores, I don't have accepted pops. Try Ruskov. There is no fucking tag. I don't need the tag anyway. Listen to what I'm saying. But there's no way there's a tag of more than three letters. Good job though, everyone. We did it. Balter. Oh, all these regions are getting their privileges back. Which is defeats the purpose of the entire Stanislav anti-nobility event chain. Because he, his whole point was to get rid of them. And they're getting their privileges back. Hopefully I can get rid of that. It's a pretty bad modifier anyway. Really bad modifier in all German regions in my country. Could have been rot, that's right, but you'll never know. The Tsardom of Rus has formed. Spain is discrediting me in the Ottomans. We are under a big threat from our east. But these two countries, Ukraine and Sardom of Rus, they can fight each other while I just instigate and watch from the sidelines. That's what should happen. Didn't you used to have Ukraine? And a bit of Smolensk as well. I used to have bits of both of them as puppets, but I lost them early on because of the internal strife of PLC. That's right, Sandman is here. Yes, I, I can get behind that notion. I already do have Kiev. Or Kiev. Kiev. A great Polish city. Oh, I just... I shouldn't have said that. Hello Chad Todd, it's good, it's good. You should take Kharkiv. There's that, Kharkov, Kharkiv. It's the capital of Ukraine. It's the capital. But, um, internal strife of the PLC, don't you mean a regular Polish day? Yep. Manual coring of Rus Czerwona. What don't I have a core on? What? We should begin assimilating? What's this? Rus Chervona? I already have a core. Where is it? This one? I don't need to assimilate that. that would... I think that it might be getting rid of other cores on it. It's assimilation, not cores. No. When I do get... When you do get manual coring events, it's called assimilation. But what this could be doing would be to assimilate the pops and to uh, get rid of other cores on it, but to infamy, uh, okay, fuck it, I'll do it. Actually, I'll do it. I don't care. I need more accepted pops. Oh, thank you for getting rid of the channel point prediction. I completely forgot about it, Ludoge. I did, in fact, win. Congrats on your channel points, everyone who believed in me. Most people did. Not many people went against it. So that means there weren't any massive channel point victories. There weren't any huge gains. But it was a solid haul, I think, for many people.
Building up the army. You cheated to win, reverting sack wipes. Oh, they were bullshit. They, we all know. We all know. Everyone who's watching agrees. Look at the industry, everyone. Is it time to get rid of the uh, agrarian party? I think it actually is. I think it's time. We got a new party, and it's pacifist. We got two new parties, both of them pacifist. Great, just what I fucking need. Give me uh, agrarianism gives you factory throughput minus seventy five percent. Um, so give me this liberal party for now. Give me that. Pacifism's okay because I can. I'm not at war. I'll change if I ever go to war. The hidden mountains now causing the attrition. Hello, Zamat Gal. Build some glass factories. At least, at least it's not fucking clothes or luxury clothes. Something a little bit different. Poor mill score. At least I can say I had great power despite that. Also, now that we have Hungary in the spear, we actually... Ugh, no mill access? Fuck off. We actually need to uh, go in there and kill rebels. If I could please get in there. Time to bring the soldier pops back up. We started this game with massive soldier pops, but we've lost them over these two massive death wars that we just had. Billy Doge asks about Slovakia. I talked about that extensively during the war. I can't be asked repeating myself about it. I know a lot of people weren't here or they weren't at the start, but you know, thing the show must go on. It must continue. I won't just go back and repeat myself. We're about to get state and government, which would allow us to do our next uh, decision in the tree. Also, the Hungarian rebels have gone. Good job, everyone. Outshone at the World's Fair, fine. We've got enough clergymen in these provinces. States. So let's get the next two up to 4%. Literacy maxing. My literacy's gone up. Must be getting the Germans back. The Germans are literate, and maybe the Lithuanians are more literate than uh, the Ruthenians or the Poles. But they can't criticise me for saying that because they can't read me saying it. They can't read it. Austria defeated. Oh, is this Romania time? Oh, we can create Romania as it's actually called. Oh, let's do it. This costs two infamy. Oh my god, I'm almost at 25 for fuck's sake. Does my... Wait, 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 wait. My constitution, it doesn't cost infamy, does it? Provisional constitution, no. 75 plurality, damn. Isn't, that's absolutely ridiculous. It's currently, I'm currently at 23%. If 23% provides me 23 research points, that, it'll go up to like plus 100% of research points. Fucking hell. So that'll be good. Now let's form, let's do it. Up to 24.26 infamy. They didn't get the Hungarian bit, but at least I can form it. I don't care actually. They can sort that one out later. They didn't, it, it makes sense that the land doesn't get annexed out of sovereign countries. It just united Moldova and Wallachia. So that's my puppet. 
We did it. Legendary. All the factories are closing. Fucking, ah, oh, they want to build another luxury thing, but at least we're getting fertilizer and lumber. It's something different. State and government, state and government, come on, state and government. If I sphere a few things, I can form Yugoslavia as well. Should I do it? I'd have to sphere Venice and possibly Corinthia. I can actually do that. Fuck it, shall we get a, a Yugoslavia out there as well? Let's do it. There might be some sphere competition for some of these things. Why not? Go for it. Montenegro is hotly contested by the dual monarchy. Let's give it a try. Let's make a Yugoslavia. See what happens. Pan Slavism. Yeah, that's why I formed Romania. They're Slavs. State and government, and we get the next decision. Good stuff. And then, in a bit, in another half an hour, we'll call it. Maybe a bit more. Half an hour or more. We've got some time. We've got some time. By the way, subscribe in this. Uh... September! The sound effect for changing it is annoying. Don't need that. How about more uh, clergymen? Right. Let's do it. we got two things. Adopt a provisional constitution. Look at my research points. 12.3. 16. Big increase. Uh, I don't want... Don't do the Union of Warsaw yet, is what I've been told, I think. Don't, don't do it yet. Do not do it yet, under any circumstances. The Policing Act. This will change it to Social Reform Regional Police. What does that give me? Uh, police. So currently we have no police, then we get Regional Police. That gives me militancy going down and suppression points. Well, that's nothing really, but my militancy is getting dangerously high for no reason. So I'm actually, I'll take it just to lower militancy. So yeah. And um, what's next? I think we wait to do this. That's what the, uh, the maker of the mod told us at the start. New political parties, perhaps. I wish. All I've got is these like alphabet soup fucking pacifist parties. That's all I've got. That's all you get. So, oh, was I correct in interpreting what the maker of the mod said is I take that decision and then wait before I take the next thing? Or is the first one, is this one the one that I just take? Also, this one costs fucking five infamy. Which can, they can shove their five infamy up their fucking arse. I'm lowering my infamy for that. Is that Romania? Yes. Come on, where have you been for the last 15 minutes? I'm going to lower my infamy, I swear to God. I'm not dealing with this. I, I need to carry... I need to continue with my campaign. Where's the old... Where's the good old infamy decision? Infamy thing. What was the number? Pacifist parties, I didn't know we were playing Vic 3. Good one. So, uh, I'm not sitting waiting for five or three infamy to go down. Come on. But, uh, I could have sworn that the maker of the mod said you have to wait for some follow-up events to happen before you proceed. I don't know. Let me, let me consult this comment again. Alright, I'm going up to uh, YouTube. Is this me? Assimilation policies rescinded. Well, that was a great use of two infamy. Tor guy, can it? Nice.
Right, uh, bear with me, I'm looking up a comment. You can't see what I'm doing, but I'm looking up a comment. Okay, what does he say? What does he say? What does he say? He says, Make sure that you don't click the new Act of Union decision until you press the Union of Warsaw decision. Okay, so it's fine. The, the one, this one, is the one that I'm fine to do. But, what's the infamy number? Give me my infamy event, guys. I forgot what it was from the last, uh, from the Aragon campaign. Because, come on. You know. I need to get my Lithuanians accepted, you know. And then delete half my army so I can rebuild them with the good unit. No, 18540. No, for fuck's sake. No. If I... Oh. We've been through... I went through an entire campaign for like 10 sessions where in almost every session I told you that the mod changes the infamy event to a different one. Why is it that when I start a new campaign in this mod only like a month later... My audience completely resets, like all the information we gained in that entire campaign suddenly just resets to nothing. And we have to start from scratch. Can we not develop a little base of uh, knowledge here? Come on. I wasn't here. I know none of you were here. My, my audience is completely reset for the new campaign. No one is carrying over. No one. So, um... Does anyone know what the actual the, the one is? Isopropy carried over. Then what is the event, damn it? There's the infamy decision under government. I know, but that only is if you go... Well, what's this? That's the same event. Um, government decisions are open, aren't they? No, yeah, the government decisions are open. Are you wrong again? Is everyone just wrong? Industrial upgrade? I can go for one of them. But, uh, yeah, we don't, have, we don't even have that unless it's under... Extra decisions. Is it under this? Um, clearing infamy. Uh, it costs me... Yes, I can do this. I can do this one. 775413. I'm taking the decision here. Boom. Oh, right. That's, just, that's a fuck... That's wrong. It just only does it to... Under 25. Okay. Is 775413 the one that reduces it to uh, 24.9 as well? Take a save before you do any events from chat. Just general good streamer. If you're a streamer out there, if uh, Tadster Bean is still in here. Good idea is to take a save before you take any advice from chat. <laughs> this is the right one, yeah. Is it? No, it's not. Uh, no. That's not it. Wrong. What is event 69? There is no event 69. Declare war. There was one that would reset your infamy to 24.99. Yeah, that's the one I want. It's the only one. The decision. The decision. Okay, the decision does it anyway. Right, so here's what we'll do. We'll proclaim the Union of Warsaw. And then immediately take that. And then it goes down 22.5. We're fine, we're fine. King Stanislav promised that the royal dictatorship would be ended once a new constitution had been finished. Says every dictator ever. But has he actually done it? Well, no wonder. This is this is a fictional game. The dictator give up his power. It's definitely fiction. So, this new constitution known as the Union of Warsaw has been signed and ratified by representatives from all of the provinces. This liberal document establishes significant civil rights reduces the monarch to a ceremonial figure and reinforces existing religious freedoms. The greatest change is the new federal system which has merged Poland and Lithuania into a single united nation with each province granted its own legislature. 
Finally, the same has been remodelled into a Western European style parliament. The peoples of the Commonwealth, especially the Jews, have cheered the end of colonisation and the start of a truly multi-ethnic state. <clears throat> the ambitions of such a behemoth can only be guessed at, but all of Europe must now reckon with the Commonwealth reborn, a Commonwealth united and ready for anything. Sit Trinitati Gloria Laus Honor Jubilitato Jubilatio And then this gives us national value equality Massive reforms, which is very nice. I get I even see a good school system in there. I lose 30 of my plurality So that's nice I Get some follow-up events after that in a moment. Oh It's part it's purple Samagotia and white Ruthenia. It's purple. This is uh, like Napoleon's legacy or something We go purple now boys Nice Samagotia and white Ruthenia. Okay Coming of the 19th century has not been kind to Lithuanian society in particular. The relations between our Litvins and Lithuanians have been increasingly sour as the Litvins cemented themselves as the true influence in the Grand Duchy. In addition, our, our Ruthenian subjects resent the Litvins, viewing them as Ruthenians who are still being treated far better than the rest of them. Now with the signing of the Treaty of Hadiach, what? That's a, that's a generic DoD event from multiplayer. It's called something different here. It's the Treaty of Hadiach isn't a thing in this. We have split Lithuania internally among Litvins and Lithuanians by creating Samogotia and White Ruthenia as two separate territories, effectively partitioning old Lithuania. So White Ruthenia is Belarus. Samogotia is Lith Lithuania. This move will surely help to calm down the tensions and... Uh... Do I get accepted, Pops? This is just rejoin internal borders. Punish Muscovy uh, and the dual monarchy goes French. Where's my accepted pops? I don't even have I got Malorussian, which is nice, but I don't I don't even have Lithuanian. Call this the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. Well, Malorussian is nice. That's this group here. I don't have Litvin Litvin or Lithuanian or Balter for that matter. Right, punish Muscovy. Ten infamy, declare war. The Great, the Patriotic War. Wow. That's another 10 in for me, if I want to do that. So, uh, anything else? Anything else? The Treaty of Hadiach is there. That gets me Lithuanian and Litvin. The Treaty of Hadiach does exist, but I haven't done it yet. There you go. I don't see Muscovy anymore. Yeah, that's actually the Sardom of Rus. And that's what the target of the event is. Well, we can hold back on that one. Wasn't there another constitution that happens after this that seems to have disappeared? Don't know. Right, so I can go through all my stacks and delete uh, Malorussian soldiers if they're the shit type of unit and rebuild them. That's a very fun task. But I feel like doing a little bit of it. Um, if there are any Malorussian soldiers... I will remake them. Oh yes, we have a light artillery here. Yes, that's one. I can rebuild that. What do you need for the accepted? Okay, wh well, what do I need for the Treaty of Hadiach then? I don't think I did, didn't look at that. Nationalism and imperialism. That's it. 1860. Nationalism and imperialism. Simple as. Well, I like it when there's something nice and simple. Balters, Crimean, Lithuanian. Balters. Malorussians. Balters, 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 Lithuanian. Looking for the shit units, Lithuanian, Malorussian from Kiev. Malorussian, that is an entire Malorussian stack. Great, we'll get some good units in. Balters. Okay, Balters. Very nice. Now I can build quite a lot of good units. Great progress then, Larry. Um, what do you think of using text as barriers for decisions? I feel like every mod is not an imp equals accepted pops. Uh, complicated question, but at the end of the day, I think that is just the way it is and it's fine. Most mods do it. It's all right. Nothing terrible. 
So, uh, no one is impeding my sphering of the various uh, Montenegro and uh, Yugoslav regions, which is nice. My overall soldier pops, it was 4% at the start, but I've gained a lot of different land. If you consider that Vic 3 has 0 out of 10 flavour, how much Vic 2 has? It's a good question, but let's be real here. Do you mean modded Vic 2? It's down to 3.3. .3. Or base Vic 2? I wouldn't give base Vic 2 a particularly high score, you know, being honest. All my critiques of Vic 3 and all these points were always about being truthful. So... Vic 2 base without mods doesn't have much flavour. It has some. It does, and when you think it still, it still has lots of formables like Byzantium and Azure. It has formables that Vic 3 doesn't have, I think, so it does have more. It's got quite some, quite a few Japanese things. Does it? Well, there's also a few other things out there. Hidden formable. Oh, a whole stack. Nice. Oh, I have some Malorussians in this. Some hidden Malorussians. Um, Kiev. Well, there you go. Like base Vic two doesn't have that much flavor compared to maybe even compared to Vic three. You know. It is what it is. So did my parties change or did I gain any new parties? Oh look at that, another pacifist party. And um, it's all shite, we need new parties. I think Sparty's parties spawn at some point. Oh my god, Ukraine and Russia are at war. Fuck's sake. Ukraine has 44, Russia has 20. Ukraine's going to win here. And it turns out that Russia is the one that I have the event on. The decision. Uh, uh, so, problematic war, Kappa. Uh, well... I think we, I think we have to jump in here. I, I think we have to jump in. <laughs> Do I still have clearing in for me? Yeah, I, I think we jump in. We have to do a quick patriotic, a cheeky patriotic war. The cheeky patriotic war, as they called it in Russia. It's World War Two. Right, let's go. Cheeky patriotic war. Just get in there. Quick in and out. I just want to. I just feel like if I miss out on the opportunity to do this decision against Muscovy, I'm going to lose out on potential lots of land and shit. Rebellion in our ally. Turkey is not worth it. Fuck that. Canegro! Do you want a spoiler about if you get a better party or not? No. Very straightforward answer from me there. And last but not least, Carinthia for the Slovenes. I think that Vic 3 is going through the right path, but at a very slow pace. Yeah, but I'm going to have a dedicated discussion stream about this, this upcoming week, on YouTube, with Pie Chucker. My designated chatting partner. Chatter in crime. 
partner in chatting. Let the Muscovites fight the Ukrainian army. Um, let them do that so I can go in and occupy as much of this as I can. Any updates about Open Vic? Uh, they're working very well on that. Progress is great behind the scenes. We're working on lots of complicated code stuff that's not particularly flashy to show off any visuals. Data loading uh, is going well. Expect an update about that maybe in October, end of September. A video or a live stream. Join the Discord for the most immediate updates. Which uh, Ladoge kindly linked. I just don't want it to end up like Imperator, which could have been great. Well, I don't know how they're going to let it end up. We don't. I just don't know. One of my suspicions... Well, let's not talk about it. Let's not talk about it. Let's have a dedicated discussion on Vic3 on another stream. In the meantime, we can focus on football. Hey, who's going to win? Scotland or England? Way Football! Football! Who's winning? Today in about an hour's time. Can I get some North FCs in the chat to disrupt this Victoria 3 that everyone keeps wanting to talk about? North FC, North FC, North FC. Football hooligan speedruns. I still kind of, I, I maybe do want to go back to that. I can't remember if I uninstalled VirtualBox. If I didn't, I might go back to that. It's, I've had space problems on my computer lately. And, uh, VirtualBox takes up a lot of uh, space. When was the last time Scotland beat England at the game? Football. I don't know. I don't know. I don't pay. I don't pay much attention myself. Really. These conservatives won. They're laissez-faire and anti-military. Go for laissez-faire. Fuck it. I don't care. Enjoy that. Come on, Scotterland. I saw some big Muscovite stacks there. Hopefully, hey, the Muscovites are thrown. This is a very topical war. England formable when? Whenever we play uh, Bjornia, which is a definite playthrough I want to do. Right. Nice. Bjornia. Scotland won in 99, tied in 21. General Rokosovsky is going to go in and uh, kill these Muscovite troops. Stop, stop fighting our own men. Outside of Paradox games, what did you play? Oh, we're playing a Paradox game now, damn it, we're playing Vic 2, let's talk about it. What other games do I play? Off the top of my head, what I like, Open TTD, Mountain Blade, um, other, sh other stuff that I can't remember. Off the top of my head. No, Ukraine, they got to Moscow first, fuck. They got to Moscow first. By a day. How do signals work in Open TTD? It's funny I should mention that, because guess what? I want to make a new Open TTD video. It's on the way. A follow-up to that one I did. Which is 
content on my channel which actually had surprisingly high views. Very nice viewer count. Open TTD mainline edited videos on my channel. But let me just warn you now. Don't expect subtitles in this new OpenTTD video when it happens, okay? It's a longer, and it's, I, would, I want to actually just be able to release it without... I could add subtitles if I take my time. Maybe. We'll see. I, I miss the OpenTTD streams as well. We should actually get them back up and running. We should. They were good. That's actually how I discovered your channel. Oh yeah, I, I might remember you from that. Yes, we should do another Open TTD. It's just that, you know, they're a bit difficult to set up because it's multiplayer. I have to wrangle the people. I also have to put to get help, uh, have someone else put together. Okay, Ukraine just pieced out. Oh dear. You know, we have to organize and collectively put together a mod pack and all that. So there's a bit of complexity and stress that goes into hosting the games and in return for hosting those multiplayer games the viewer count is a bit low not that many people sub or donate on them so for the amount of time that goes into them versus the the, the payback i get for doing them it's not that great a ratio compared to just you know victor of course I started watching Spud when some mates in a warband clan told me made some funny vids back then ages ago. Some warband war band vids, yep. That's where it all began. That's where my channel began. My channel, my YouTube channel, Spud Gun Official, began when I decided that I had a couple of good ideas for some Mountain Blade warband memes based on the clans that I was in at the time. That's it. I wanted to make a couple of memes, and they're still there if you go right back to the start. If you scroll back through my videos, you'll find them. And then I made, I, then I moved from making just meme videos to real serious persistent world videos. And then I went from serious, I went from pure memes to serious persistent world videos to funny moments persistent world compilations. Oh, the war got automatically pieced out for some bullshit. Okay, well we're going to revert that at some point. How did you get into Vic Two? Well, that goes back many, many, many more years. I just remember finding it by searching up various strategy games and stuff on PC and I found it, thought it looked good. Got it in like, I got it in 2012 first I think, 2011. So a year or two after it came out, maybe, but that bombshell is a bit annoying. We're going to have to revert to an autosave. I think Ukraine piecing out with Muscovy has fucked that up, so what I will possibly do is uh, revert to an autosave before they piece it out and yes man my treaty on the Rus before it happens and I, I know that's gamey I know that's cringe but I know that's using console commands but the reasons are clear because it's debugging this because uh, it's bugged out because of Ukraine I have to do it and I'm not hiding that I'm doing it but I'm going to do it on the next stream because I think this is just a good point to stop we've been through Another death war, we've been through several interesting events and we're moving on to new stuff. We came out much better than we started the stream. It's a good point and we've done it for three hours. Solid stream, I think. And the sub, plenty subs, you know, great, thank you for the subs. But we could, um, we could just chill for like 15, 10, 15 more minutes and just chat. Um, did I just take a save right now? No, I'll take a, an additional save. A, a, you know, a safety save. Now I'm going to check what the auto saves are. Bowling talk? Nah, I don't have that as a tag today. Bowling was entirely our last stream. That's it. Uh, you know, I probably found out about Victoria 2 from some videos, possibly Shenry or possibly Quill 18, but I can't remember which video it was that I might have discovered Vic 2 first on. It would have been some let's play or maybe even an introductory video like check out this is this is victoria too blah 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 i don't know i can't remember but i remember overall at the time in 2011 2012 i was checking out strategy games it was total war that first got me into pc strategy games actually no i tell a lie it wasn't but that was what I, that it was total war that spurred me to get my first computer my first actual pc to myself 
But before that I had played some games on PC on various like laptops, family computer. Um, I played Warcraft 3, I played some other stuff, Minecraft. But then I found Total War videos and I was like, oh my god, this is amazing, I want to do this. And I also found Mountain Blade Warband Napoleonic Wars based on, goes like Empire at War. And then I found out Napoleonic Wars and I get Warband. And oh my god, that is a lot of nostalgia. But then, you know, then you find Victoria 2. And then to be honest, once you find Paradox, you don't really go back to Total War. Because, I don't know. You're looking for a deep strategy experience. But anyway, um, the historical Total Wars, which they don't really make anymore. So, well, I started the first autosave, November. Um, November. Obviously they've peaced out at this point. So they've peaced out in October as well. So in, please, September. Okay, thank fuck. This is before Ukraine beast out. So it's going to be older autosave on 1st of September 1852 that we officially use here. This is going to be our save. So when we... Yeah, Himonito, yeah. New Total War Pharaoh looks so bad. I can't help but agree with you. At first I was thinking, okay, uh, a Total War game in that period, Bronze Age, looks, is a great historical period to put a game. But then you learn more information about it. Um... Like the, the very low amount of factions that are playable, like what, four, five, six factions, plus then DLC factions. And then you see the amount, the absolute mountain of DLC that they have pre planned. Like if you think Paradox are bad for DLC, I think Creative Assembly are worse, because they have DLC laid out to go on launch. Even Victoria 3 didn't have DLC that was ready to go on launch. It didn't have DLC that you could also pre-order before the game came out and shit like that. Uh, it's worse. It's worse. So this game just completely rubs me the wrong way. I'm not getting fucking... I'm not getting Pharaoh. Not interested. Um, what, we, what I'm very interested in is City Skylines 2. That... See, for people who think I'm just a blind, pure hater who hates new shit, no. City Skylines 2 looks phenomenal. And as far as I can tell, they're not going to... I mean, it is a Paradox published game, but... They are incorporating stuff that was DLC in the first game, and mods in the first game. They're not repackaging shit that shouldn't be DLC, it seems like. So, City Skylines 2 is rubbing all the right directions to me, rubbing me the right way. Which, if you start expanding on the rubbing me the right or wrong way uh, metaphor, it just gets worse. So I wouldn't do that. Are you planning on streaming City Skylines 2? Yeah. Problem is, I've, I'm planning a holiday right around the time it comes out. I might get one day of it before I'm gone. So. But it's not the type of game where I'm like, oh my god, I've got to get it on day one and release and stream. It's a game that can wait. I'm not going to be... I'm not going to be your main City Skylines 2 content creator. There's loads of other people who do that. I'm going to be just, just doing it on the side. And if people are interested, they'll watch me. But, um, again, we're just chatting here. I, I also want to do a pure just chatting stream later this week, as I've said. I'm, I'm eating into topics that I'd love to talk about in that. But we'll have Pie Chocker here anyway, so... We'll get loads of uh, new banter that you wouldn't get otherwise. But... I've been editing through the upcoming Open TTD video I want to do, and it's you know it's got Pie Chucker in it. The banter is so fucking funny. From me, from Pie Chucker, from Catalyst, from Open Vic is in it, and uh, Ladoge, Ladoge, you still here? Est-ce que tu es encore là? You're in it, and you're funny as well. Um, it's so good. Can't wait. It's so funny. L um. Who is the Doge? The guy who chatted literally right below you is the Doge. It is so funny. It is such a good video. I'm laughing out loud through it. It's so good. Oh my god. The memes I'm going to put in it. It'll be great. But um, when I talked about the upcoming OpenTT video, I noticed also someone asked about Bavaria Part 8 in the chat as well. Bavaria Part 8 will be on Friday. 
Bavaria party is coming on Friday, no matter what. Well, actually, it's it's not coming no matter what. If monetization issues get in the way, it might have to wait again. But you see, there's been such a distance between the two videos that I'm getting a backlog. Bavaria Part 8 is going to be finished editing, maybe tomorrow or Wednesday. But then I'm going to give it a nice buffer until Friday to make sure the monetization issues are solved and to start editing the next part so that I build up a backlog. And then hopefully Bavaria Part 9, the next one, will be the following Friday and boom, you've basically got a Friday schedule back up and running again, at least until I'm on holiday in October, end of October, okay? But I'll work on trying to get you a backlog to release then anyway. You know, it's all good. That is the complete update. You only get these kinds of updates live on my streams, which is another reason to watch them. If anyone has any last minute donations or subs, I'd love to see your generosity, support the channel, keep it going. I don't have any sponsorships as of now. If I ever do plan to have a sponsorship, I'll transparently communicate and give you exact, tell you exactly what's going on. My, my criteria, as I always say, for doing a sponsorship is something I actually believe in and want to publish, publicise or whatever. Vic3 and Paradox sponsorships are literally the sponsorships that I want to do the least and would never do, and they wouldn't want me to do them anyway. They they don't they actively would say no to me, and I say no to them. So it seems like we agree on one thing, right? But if I ever come across a product or something to be sponsored that I actually believe in and want to sponsor, that's what I'll do. Or if I'm forced, if my hand is forced by serious demonetization issues, that's what would also get me to do a sponsorship, even one that I wouldn't necessarily want to do. Would you take a Cities 2 sponsorship? Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I, nah, nah. Because, mate, they're published by Paradox as well, you know. So, they still wouldn't let me, and I still don't, I, w I wouldn't want to sp sponsor that game anyway. I don't want to get sponsored by a big game, actually, uh, you know, one that loads of other people get sponsorships for. Big, huge AAA release. I don't want to. It's still... I want to maintain independence on games, generally. Although, there are little things like Gilded Destiny. If they ever open up sponsorships for content creators, I'd be down. They've been very kind to me. And uh, I'm very, looking, very much looking forward to their project. But they're indie. They're you know, small. Start, I don't know if they would even do sponsorships or if they do early stuff, but I'm down to do stuff with the likes of that or if Grey Eminence was a thing still I would do that but big AAA game sponsorships and early stuff for that still rubs me the wrong way in terms of just the overall thing where big companies pay content creators to show their games that, that overall thing Victoria 3 completely made me totally cynical about that, so I just don't like the idea of doing it in general. But I can't rule everything out completely, especially if uh, financial situations change and I'm more forced to. So, but that's where I am on it now. I think if you communicate with indie studies about this stuff, they're probably very open to it. Yeah, we'll see. If, any, if it's going to be anything I do a sponsorship for that's a game, it's going to be Gilded Destiny. I'm just saying that right now. Because I'm already uh, in great contact with them and their social media. And uh, we've covered them. And uh, I think, uh, actually, I'm the biggest content creator who is talking about them or has mentioned them in any great uh, significance, I think. Because, you know, they're small. It's a small indie thing. And uh, I think... But... Actually, also another another angle to consider on Gilded Destiny is how they are. They're a little bit of a response to Victoria 3 project as well. It's not about hating on Vic 3. It's about filling a gap that Vic 3 left by going off in its direction. So, And the devs, the, the, the Gilded Destiny, we saw this on a previous stream I did with Pychucker, where we, we looked at the Gilded Destiny's war reveal video. They made a little cheeky nod to Vic 3's war system when unveiling their war system, which involves the control of stacks. 
they made their little nod to it. So it's a it's a project that just completely aligns with where I am. You know, it's it's a, it's a match made in heaven, as they say. But it's got it's a it's got its hexagonal map and its globe map, which I am not big on. But I'm willing to obviously I'm fine with those are just cosmetic things. If the game's a good grand strategy game, a good simulation, good economy, good war, then it doesn't really matter so much if they've done a weird hexagonal map or a globe view. They might put a cool spin on it, I suppose. It might. It gives them it gives them a unique look and all that. But I'm just I'm not crazy about it. I'm really ambivalent. If I was going to make a grand strategy game myself and make decisions, I wouldn't have decided to do that. But that's just me, and they've done it, and I'm fine with it. The Steam page looks good. Um, but we were at, I was actually planning to talk about Gilded Destiny in the upcoming chatting stream with Pytrucker anyway, so... We'll go into more details about their latest updates and plans. They have an upcoming Dev Diary, which I hope comes out before I uh, do that stream, so we have more to talk about. Uh, anyway, let's wrap it up here. So thanks very much for watching. Thanks moderators. Thanks subs. Any last minute subs or donations are welcome. The next time I will stream this campaign will be... Undecided. Possibly Saturday. Because, you see, I have Bavaria to release on Friday and we have a chatting stream with PyChucker that I might do on Wednesday, which is... Is that tomorrow? Yeah, that's tomorrow. Or Thursday and stuff i could do i could follow up plc tomorrow at the usual time maybe sorry for the lack of clarity on a schedule on the streams but i don't know exactly what we're doing thank you very very much everyone carter is a popular doge bye bye i will see you in the next stream which could be a discussion on youtube goodbye everyone au revoir bye lol bye